Welcome, everybody, to another Friday night. How are we doing? Hopefully well. Uh, good to see some folks uh, showing up early in chat. Always good. Uh, i got to say, it's been a long week, but we're here. It's Friday. We made it. Yeah. Uh, so as the uh, thumbnail said, going to get into this Driftless Glen Mint Pineapple Mojito uh, Mash and Journey pick here. The Drift. Driftless Donuts, yeah. And uh, for just for fun, going to be comparing it to another Driftless Glen uh, Cast Strength Rye pick. Uh, this is Name a Southside Market pick, hand-selected by the Unseen Hand. Thanks to John Kranz there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be comparing those two Driftless Glen picks tonight. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, also, we got some samples from Mr. Great Shot to get into, so that'll be cool. Uh, but anyway, as usual, what is everybody pouring or already have poured? Uh, all that good stuff. What are we sipping on, folks? Uh, let us know. Uh, in the meantime, let me run through some chat here. Let's see. Uh, myself there early. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, cheers to all of you beautiful whiskey people who are here early on a Friday. Appreciate it. Uh, Paul Whiskey Food, dude. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. And actually, let me uh, let me go ahead and get some whiskey poured so I can properly cheers you guys. Uh, I'm going to, for comparison's sake, I'm going to pour the uh, current Driffles Glen pick that I have right here uh, from John Kranz into my, good Lord. Okay, uh, let's go this arm. Thing is really in there. All right. So, John Kranz pick here going into the Whiskey Nose Golden Glen. Oh, right. We were hanging out with Marty earlier today. And there he is, the man himself, Paul Whiskey Food Dude. What's up, brother? How we What's doing, up, buddy? Not much, man. Just uh, glad it's Friday. Glad the week's over. I know that. Yeah, hear that, man. <laughs> it's been a long one, but we made it. So uh, what, do you, what do you got in your glass, or what are you about to pour? Uh, I think I'm going to get things started with... Uh, well, there we go. A little Sam Houston 15. Sam All right. Houston Sounds 15. good, man. And uh, what, what batch you got there? Uh, batch, uh, or the, this is bottle 388, uh, batch size three. Yeah, on, the, on the back side, I think it said it'll say like something like KY batch. Okay, so you got Tennessee batch three. There you go. Cool. Good stuff, man. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, good stuff to most people. I'm one of those weird ones that's not a fan of Old Barton, but uh, most people say I'm wrong. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Dusty Dan. Let's go. Yeah, man. Uh, also, you know, as usual, if you're not subscribed to Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews or Bad Axe, Bourbon, yeah, go give them a sub, folks. And mods, if you could drop those likes, that's always great. Uh, let's see here, Driftless Glen picks are amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this, uh, this one from Ash and Journey is. I'm sure it will be. Let's kick this pig. What's up, Jim? Another great channel there, Pinch Hitter Whiskey Lounge. How we doing? Commandante Lou. Uh, I don't speak Spanish, brother, but uh, let's see. Being, uh, nope, got nothing. Don't know what that means. Uh, I need a translator. Where's my wife at? She knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here's Giddy. Meow. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Kate Turk. Cheers all. C. Jackson. Cheers. Yeah, actually, let's uh, let's go ahead and get a cheers in here. Cheers to, to Paul and all you uh, beautiful people out there watching. Getting into the uh, the Master Journey one here first in my 21090 glass. Whoa, that's a... That's a... That nose is weird. <laughs> it's almost like perfumey. Oh, my glass wasn't tainted. Anyway, uh, let's get into the sip. Okay, all right. That's a little bit different than my current pick, so that's cool. That drinks a lot more like a... Uh, like a bourbon on the palate, and then uh, lots of spice on the back end. Uh, you're going to have to think about that a little bit. Got some bourbon-aged tequila. All right. Cool. 
Uh, evening, Gordon Murphy. Good to see you, man. I love my Driftless Glen Donuts Mint Caramel Dream. The original M&J Rye Pick. There you go. Cool, man. Uh, hi, Sean and all. Sipping on OF100. There's you, there you go. That's always a staple on any good bar. Good to see you, Dave. Cheers to you. Let's see. Who else? Hey, we got uh, Chris Tats in here. What's up, buddy? We're international. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Radis Packless. Pack, packless leader. There you go. Paul. Paul's in the house. Heck yeah. And, and yeah, thanks for hanging out tonight, Paul. It's been too long, man. Since, uh, it's yeah. been a while since we got to hung out. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it's been a minute for sure. Really pretty much after since we got back from the meetup, I think I came out one time and that's been about it. So overdue. Yeah, overdue. yeah for, for sure, man. Hey, um, so speaking of uh, I, I feel like you'd be down for this. So Ben, maybe he's already told you, he's coming down, I think, April 16th, I want to say. Um, okay. Going to be in Louisville area, but, you know, he'll hit all the spots, I'm sure. Um, so I'm kind of like tentatively just kind of trying to see interest, see if we can do like a meetup, like a Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio. Maybe have Stacy come in and um, maybe see if the Turks can make it up. And, yeah, it's good. Just kind of throwing it out there to see if people's schedules allow for that. Hopefully, we can have a cool little meetup thing and uh, you know share some bottles. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm the only thing I got going on is like the first of uh, April. I'm going down to Savannah with family just for a couple of days, so I might be able to swing something like that. Okay. So, cool, man. You said the 16th around that around that time frame I, yeah so I, I believe it's the week of april 16th uh ben if you're out there correct me if i'm wrong but I, that seems right my, my memory is quite awful but that seems like the dates that he said yeah to my understanding he's going to be here a week so uh nice. there and there she is stacy h yeah cheers stacy how we doing good to see you of course four leaf whiskey another great channel they're the queen of irish whiskey uh, if you want to know stuff about Irish whiskey, she's your girl right there, Stacey H. And, uh, yeah, brought some killer stuff to the Kentucky meetup last year. Oh, yeah. Woods, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Evening, everybody. Drinking a new Rossville Union bib store pick. Okay. Kind of flat. Well, that's disappointing. Hey, there's Slapshot. How we doing, buddy? Good to see you, Brian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be... Uh partying with him in about a month or so uh at the uh Cheech's meetup so oh uh where's that uh St. Augustine oh okay you're going going down south there you go yeah here we go we got Jim in the house hey. what's up Jim what's good up, to see you man yeah uh, I wasn't expecting to be on tonight but I don't have to be at work until 11 tomorrow so here I am hey sweet man <laughs> Does so anybody else uh, have this this specific pick from uh, Mash and Journey? This this nose here. This is no. The nose is. Uh, I don't know if like my I got like this weird perfume note. That is a very descriptive name, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's so nose is not at all like uh, what is it? Mint pineapple mojito. Um, it's more like. A woman's perfume. But anyway. Perfume and pineapple. That is a weird combination. <laughs> Indeed. Whiskey Wars. Cheers, buddy. It shows samples will be there on Monday. Hopefully, they make it in time for the live. Awesome, man. Yeah. That'll be cool. I get to review those next week. Looking forward to that. And again, sub to all these great channels, folks. Dust Dan's, Four Leaf Whiskey, Bad Axe. Hey, there's Gregor's Bourbon Note. Another great channel there. What's up, Greg? Good to see you, man. Uh, there you go. There's Dusty Dan's link right there. Uh, let's see here. We got Chris Tass. Just saw an item on the news over here about a guy <laughs> and his national award-winning mustache over in... <laughs> I see. Uh, I got to read the whole thing there. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> That stash has won many awards. Uh, there you go. Cheers to all the people. He said hello, a whole. Yeah, I think that's probably what that what that what. 
Oh, Bienvenido Pendejos translates too. <laughs> Oh, okay, right. Yeah, uh, well, you know, uh, my Spanish is uh, Paquito or whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, home of Gizmo. There you go. Slapshot mm -hmm. might be at the Roadhouse too. There you <laughs> right. Only the cat's important. Uh, cheers, all you KY Hill folk. Yes. <laughs> You're hanging out with the with uh, the Turks there earlier as well. Over on Marty's stream, having a good time. Yeah, uh, fifteen hundred. So there's a lot of subscriber parties going on today. Uh, Bourbon Wrench and uh, Marty, and I, I thought there was another one, but maybe SLB I'm drinks. Who's that? SLB drinks is doing a hundred k subscriber stream tonight. Wow! Yeah, they're at a hundred k. Interesting. They and Brutal just went <laughs> just explode. Yep. I mean, well, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, uh, I know. There's some controversy <laughs> around Brutal, yada, yada. Uh, let's see here. If you are really skilled driving, you can get your drams to drift. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, go, go sub to the Turks there. Great people. Bottle. What, what are you sipping on, Jim? I didn't, I didn't ask you I yet. I'm to start with this for now. There you go. Okay, but, yeah. I do have at least one bottle to open. I might have two if somebody twists, twists my arm real, real hard. So I picked this up uh, this week. Get out of the way. There you go. Yeah. Stupid. Is that a cast strength pick there? Looks it, like it. Yes, it yeah. is. Nice. It's, uh, Freaking sweet. Liquor World. All right. OESV. -E -S -E. Oh, V. This is the first one of these I've ever had. I've had now a we're single barrel, but, uh, but I've, I've never got my hands on one of those, so I'm excited. But first, I got to open this for hanging AZ. I don't know if anybody's had besides me has ever had this around here. It's one I don't so, ever get talked about. Uh, yeah, I've I've heard of it, never never seen one though. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, Dad's that Pennsylvania rye whiskey. It's essentially, uh, essentially, it's it's, it's distilled. In the style of Pennsylvania or uh, Monongahela rye, which is very traditional rye. It's, it's the rye that was popular be be before and around the time of Prohibition. And so it's, and it's, I, I, this was the fifth or sixth bottle I ever had. And I remember being good, but I haven't gone back to it since. And Hanging Daisy kept talking about the bottle, the blonde version, which I can't find. But okay. Hell, even this has been a little tricky to find. I don't know if they're having some supply chain issues, but uh, yeah, I've never really seen a single good. dad's head. So I remember it being a little different from any rye, other rye that I've had. So I'm looking forward to cracking that and revisiting it. But basically, the the gist I'm getting from the description is it's essentially the uh, uh, a U.S. version of Canadian rye. So. If you've you ever had, or if, if you've ever had like Stellum, it's kind of the same idea. Okay. It's a it's a a sweeter rye, but it's got that spiciness to it as well that you don't tend to see on a lot of U.S. rye U.S. U.S. ryes. That was okay. that Pennsylvania rye style. Cool. I'm, I'm about that. I, I don't like ryes when they get uh, really mint and uh, like. Anise or licorice. If they get if they go a lot that way, then I'm kind of out. But if they're like sweet, more like candy and spice, lots of spice. I like spice bomb rice. So, what do you think of that, Sam Houston, Paul? Uh, it's it's interesting. This is my second pour. It's the first time I've ever had uh, Sam Houston, and uh, I'm definitely. The nose is light, but I'm, you know, I'm getting a lot, a lot more of like a woody brick house taste to it. Not in a bad way. You know, yeah. I know sometimes it can be over funky, but this one's kind of got a nice balance to it. I, I've got my George Dickel 15 out as well. So I'm going to do a little comparison. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, you know, so the, the batch that I had, well, I think it was KY4, 
Um, you know, and I know they vary, but so Barton on the finish, like older Barton has this finish. There, there's a, a specific note there. I don't know how, what exactly to call it. Uh, the whiskey fancy ladies called it eucalyptus, possibly. <laughs> That's that's maybe that's maybe right. Either way, whatever it is, I don't really like it. I, so like, I like the palette on it pretty well. It's just like whatever that note is on the on the finish there. It's kind of kind of weird for me, but a lot of people like it. So I'm I'm the minority on this one for sure. Uh, the I've had the Calumet 16, and I thought that was really good, especially after it opened up. I was getting a good cherry kind of flavor to it. Um. Definitely not like what I'm really getting with the Sam Houston. Yeah. So, well, a little more darker, muddier notes, maybe something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not muddier, but more kind of woodier notes, I guess, where I was getting more of, I was getting less woody notes off the Calumet 16, and I was kind of getting more fruit notes. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, Four Leaf Whiskey says she's there for the for the meetup. All right, we we got to get this thing planned because oh, yeah. it's, it's been too long since we've done a meetup. Well, at least for me, I I don't get out much. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> missed uh, OJ for hire there. How we doing, That's man? Good really? to see you. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Still one of the greatest names on YouTube. <laughs> nah. Uh, cheers all just a quick check-in whilst I eat my lunch. There you go. Good to see you, Lil. Hope you're doing well. Irish must be four leaf. That's right. Yeah. Go go give uh, all these great people subs. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Cheers to Jim. Cheers, Lil. Sure, kitty meow. Uh, what do I see? We do. Yes, sir. Perfume and pineapple. So are you getting that, Ethan? Am I right on that? Is it just my glass or is that just the nose on it? Uh, yeah, and maybe a little floral. Let me, let me get a little more poured here. I kind of went through that first pour uh, pretty quickly there. I'm just I'm trying to make sure it's not like glass, like I have like soap residue left over or something weird. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Maybe it needs to open up some and get the uh the ethanol out or something. That's definitely a little different. We'll have to drop uh oh uh, wait. Drop off oh. it's time to go out with my cousin to look at his apartment he's buying. Have a good one, all. There you go. I, you know what? Jim's just going to reach out because I'm too tired to do it. Um, <laughs> I can read that one. Uh, I love the other two Driffles Glen picks, but I missed out. Yeah, uh, I guess this was all. So the other the other rye pick is what I actually wanted. Um, what is it? The something brownie, whatever the heck thing. Uh, but yeah, that was gone. I guess that sold out in like 10, 15 minutes or something, according to what Jason said. There he is. There's the guy I got the other Driftless pick from. John Kranz. Cheers, buddy. Uh, let's see. What are I? Cheers to Stacy. My samples were supposed to get to you today, Sean, but now it looks like it's running late. Damn things. It's in Georgia. How is that the midway point between Kentucky and Texas? <laughs> uh, I think they overshot a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we missed. Got to go east, go north. <laughs> Unless there's who whoever delivers it, maybe there's a big packaging in like Atlanta. That's all yeah. I can think of. Maybe it flew into Atlanta, probably. And yeah, because like when when they're, I guess when they're, if you're west of the Mississippi, then it flies. I guess for whatever reason. And also that makes the uh, shipping more expensive because anybody I ship to uh, west of the Mississippi is always more expensive than hmm. if you're on this side, even oh, if you're oh, like, it's just a state away. Well, let's see here. Uh, the bourbon note. There you go. Check out uh, Ben and Greg. there doing great stuff. Uh, what are you doing in Chad dear with your, <laughs> supposed to be hurt. yes. Hey, there's <laughs> Jacob. What's up, Jacob? How we doing, man? Uh, who else we got? Well, 
comment. Troy man. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. Cheers, Troy man. So uh, real quick, I, I, I know that it's sent. I like Kirk on SLB a lot. I think he's a good dude. Um, he's entertaining. He's very down to earth. He's not like uh, pompous or braggy or anything. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a good reviewer. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, Mick and I are heading to Ashgrove in about 30 minutes. Do you want us to, Oh, okay. That's not to me. Uh, <laughs> that'd be great. All right. People are meeting up over in Australia, limping through the dream. <laughs> How is the leg, Chris? Dad's hat is located right next to where my grandparents lived. All right. Yeah, that's definitely you, different. Yeah, what what are, you, what are you thinking about it there, Jim? It it's it has a little bit of it has a little bit of vanish on it, but this has to be the the, the, the most herby rye I've ever had. Like there's it's very it's it, it's it's super strong sweet dill. And so it's not like you know spicy punching you in the face dill. It's a very sweet dill, right. but it's super. Bobby, what the? yo, oh. what's going on, guys? Hey, Bobby, Here's Bobby, Bobby. With the crazy mustache. Okay, that's right. Award award winning mustache. Apparently, award, <laughs> award winning. Okay, I want to see that one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking the the dill note there that you're describing, Jim. That that that's also a turnoff for me if it's really strong. Because sometimes, yeah, will if you don't like dill, way. you might not like this. Now, interestingly, Old Overholt was originally Pennsylvania rye. It, it, it was originally distilled and bottled, and produced in Pennsylvania before you know. The, the the popularity of that that of, of you know where I began to dwindle at post prohibition, and it hung that and, and that one probably hung on the logs. And eventually, it ended up in the clutches of Beam, and Beam turned it turned it into Kentucky right. So it's Pennsylvania right in name only. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, interesting. Six years. My ears are burning. Why is that? <laughs> Currently gathering up two of every animal. <laughs> gotcha. Where, where are you at, 60? That's fast. He's down. He's in New Zealand. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Right. I understand. Yeah. Start oh, building the see. ark. Uh, I don't know if you have enough time to build an ark, but uh, get to it. <laughs> get to the SS Minnow. <laughs> I don't know uh, if there are any Mexican folk in uh, New Zealand, but they can get an arc built for you in about f a day or so. Uh, they're incredibly efficient. Um, <laughs> so are the Amish. True. That's true. Yeah, we got we got but Amish. You have Wi Fi. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, you can't email them either. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, around here in, in these parts of Kentucky, we have Amish and we have Mennonites and we have uh, Mexican folks. So we got all kinds of great builders. Things yeah. are getting built up just like that. Oh, you you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't waste any time around here. We'll get you a house built tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yes, Whiskey Wars, those KY badges can't be a pain in the ass. Okay, gotcha. Perfume floral and pineapple. I love that for Florida. Okay, so I'm not wrong. So it is very florally, like women's perfume. <sighs> I don't know if, how much I'm going to love this bottle. I may send you this bottle, Ethan. Uh, <laughs> if Sean Channeling is in her bourbon ranch and staying 15 minutes behind on purpose. Uh, no, I'm just a slow reader, as I've kind of proved already tonight. Blood Orange Brownie. Yeah, that was a good one I missed out on. I want some raspberry bourbon too. Hey, uh, Bobby. So you're at work, right? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. yes, I'm at work. So, uh, so Cheers. sparkling water then. Cheers. Well, I got <laughs> I regular just, water just, right just regular water today. Just regular water. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's purified. It's purified. <laughs> hey, man! Great stream uh, yesterday, though. Comparing the the Jepsons to the the Magnus, that that was that was cool, man. Yeah. You was, sold me on fun. it. Uh, oh, Sean, dude, that is so good, dude. Shane's juice is good, man. I'm <laughs> it better like that. Clip yeah. it. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, right? <laughs> as soon as I said it, I'm like, oh, crap. Dude. Oh, <laughs> and the clip it, oh, dude, no. I couldn't even, I couldn't even come clean with the boots. I clip it, I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, honestly, honestly, uh, Shane, Shane owes you like uh, some uh, what? What is it when you? The thing where you commission, that's that's the word. Yeah. Send me uh, a bottle. Talk, just, you, just send me a bottle. Just send me a bottle, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, I even had him live. I was like, hey, it's talking to Shane while I was on. Yeah, exactly. No, because after, after that, like tonight, I committed to it. I, I joined the Altars Guild. I've been talking about it yeah. for a while. And me I too. bought the, the two-pack, the, uh, what is it, the Port Night Rises yeah. and the uh, the Jepsons, which we're going to get in. I have a sample from Mr. Great Shot here, which we're going to get into Dude, in just a second. But, I mean... If it competes with Magnus, then I'm sold. Dude, I'm telling you, we got we I had three Magnus there and and that five uh, Friday at Fred's. Man, I, I honestly I couldn't tell which was a Magnus and which wasn't. I had three of them, and I, that was the only one that yeah. wasn't. And it for me, it got number two out of those four, and it was a toss up for Nicole between it two and three. So she yeah. ended up putting it at three, but because she just goes, ah, just do that one. Mike, so it would yeah. could be two for both of us. And, and, and should, should, should be noted, should be noted that when Nicole was making your decision, she was uh, she was feeling pretty good. She was feeling really good. <laughs> <laughs> she was feeling pretty good. She goes, she goes, oh, you saw her warm up, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. we yeah. Are, I'm like, really? That was funny. Yeah, she had a warm. She had to warm up with the uh, old Fit Seventeen. That's her warm up. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I'll uh, disclaimer. None of those bottles. The only bottle that was mine was a sample I got from Shane. <laughs> All those Magnuses and the old fits were were hers. Like she's doing, she knows what she likes, and she just gets it. Like, okay, good stuff. Damn, That's our international. I'm like, yes. Yeah, man. Uh, great, great stream yesterday. I mean, the whole very entertaining. Nicole was great. You were great. Uh, good info comparing it to the Magnus, man. That was that was good times. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. I kept hearing about people comp comparison. I'm like, shoot, I got access to a bunch of Magnus, and I got the got the five the five nights at Fred or five. Man, I keep getting mixed up with a stupid freaking thing that app or whatever it was like a few years ago. That Friday night at Freddy's, that big scary teddy bear thing. I keep getting <laughs> mixed up, dude. Man, five. I didn't get that. Oh, there, there you go. Hey, Siri. Uh, I think John's on to something here. Schlong's juice, next tater sticker. Hey, John Kranz won the second spin last night. He's getting that Doc Swinson's. There you go, man. Uh, I think Chris so uh, good. said that uh, Faz is in Auck Auckland in New Zealand, and they had about a foot of rain last night. So the city and airport is underwater. Yeah. Yeah. 60 Hertz was saying, yeah, the, the airport is underwater. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Hey, man, uh, hopefully you, you and your family are good, safe. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can still, you know, get the things you need to get. Um, Friday Fred's picks are so good. Yeah. yeah Dusty Dan are. approved there. So is it is Fred's juice better than... Better than Shane's? <laughs> you tell me. I, I'm not answering now. <laughs> I'm not accepting it enough. Uh, I don't know who's going to do the, the comparing, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got volunteers in the chat. <laughs> uh, so, Nashville, right on, man. There you go. Yeah, thousand on IG, sweet man. Hey, you know, I don't even. I really need to get on it. Uh, I don't do anything on IG or TikTok or Facebook oh. really enough. I, I need to, I need to step it up. Dude, telling you, Sean, that my, uh, you, know, you know, my wife was in the background last night. She, uh, the last few live streams, I've been having TikTok on a separate device, and I'm telling them come over and they'll get over. Um, I'm averaging probably 20 subs a live stream just from that. At Sweet. Least, it's awesome. it's it's working at least for now, you know. 
because it goes it goes on TikTok. It goes out to all kinds of people. All what you, I mean, it goes out yeah. to thousands of people. It'll start off with like 20, 50,000 people every. Oh, and then they, it kind of dwindles down and it and it settles down two hundred, hundred or whatever. Calm down. Yeah, uh, you, you've told me that a couple times. Like I just, it's it's hard for me to imagine that the TikTok is doing those numbers. That that's crazy. It's to crazy, me. dude. You can start with like fifty k in on a oh, live. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's it nuts. It is, it is crazy. At first, I was like, is that a K? <laughs> or what is that? <laughs> like, what the heck is that thing? That's yeah, like we, football stadium numbers right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bobby's freezing on us. Hey, uh, congrats, Mashville, on the 1,000 on IG, though. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, now only 729 more on YouTube. I get 1K. Hey, yeah. Uh, speaking of folks, if you're not sub to Mashville, he's kind of kind of my partner in crime some nights over there on Mash and Metal, having a killer time talking uh, metal and drinking whiskey. Yeah. Hey, what's what's not the like? Um, <laughs> oh yeah, Bobby's Bob, Bobby dropped. Uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's Mash and Metal. That is a heck of a head to head. Yeah, man, it just it felt right. You got me to listen to Holy Diver all the way through. <laughs> Dude, how great of a record is that? Ah, oh, so well, better than I thought it was. That's a really good record. But yeah, putting it up against Blizzard of Oz, <laughs> that's a tall order. Uh, so, uh, so have you listened? All, did you listen all the way through Blizzard of Oz yeah. this week? Oh, yeah, oh, I've, okay. listened to, I've listened to Blizzard of Oz all the way through before. I was, I've, right. I'm, I'm, I'm just a lot more familiar with that one than Holy Diver. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil which one I'm uh, leaning no, to. No, I, I wouldn't. But, ask uh, you. Yeah, but uh, I'm not hanging well, out, hanging out, I'm hanging out with that that discussion tomorrow. I have thoughts. <laughs> all right, cool, man. Sorry, there he that. is. Sorry about that. I'm at, I'm at work, so I'm relying on Here's work's Chris internet. Says. So if, if, oh, if yeah. I drop again, I'll just I'll just go and chat. Hey, hey. That's all right, man. Hey, no no worries. Yeah, you can pop in and out as many times as you need to. And Marty, whiskey knows. There he is. We're hanging out over at Marty's earlier there, having a good time. And uh, congrats again, Marty, on the fifteen hundred. Good stuff, yeah, man. Congrats, Marty. And I assume everyone is sub to Whiskey Nose, but if you're not, you know, go do the YouTube things. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, you you, you got to put out the content, Stanley. That's 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 how you do it. It's it's the part of this thing that sucks, but you got to put out the content. <laughs> yeah, it's the time suck. Is what it yeah. is. I don't, yeah, it's not like I don't enjoy it. It's just ah, that sucks. Dude. If you do the editing, 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 it's a time suck. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I need to get more into shorts and do the Instagram. Yeah. The dog is really being a pain in the ass right here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I need to get into the IG shorts and the TikTok things because, like, those, like, I feel like you can get them done quicker the problem is yeah. i'm shooting all my stuff on a camera that's landscape format and for some reason YouTube, youtube will not like throw it on the short thing even though i like put hashtag short and all the things like it and i'm well under my time limit it's just uh for some reason they don't like my i don't know Stick, it's yeah. fine. you gotta yeah. you have an editor you or do you just use the uh whatever form you use ig or TikTok or or YouTube's editor, or do you have a separate editor? No, so so I'm shooting it on a camera. That's what I shoot all my stuff on. Okay, um, and then I edit it through DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so you do um, have an editor then? Yeah, that use that's not it's not just whatever social media you're in. You're you have an actual editor. No, so you see, I I need to start doing it like you're doing and just shooting it on the phone, and then it's like it's already made for that. Yeah, well, I'll do it. I'll do it on my phone, but then I'll, I'll use the the phone as a camera, and then I'll throw it over to my iPad, and I have an editor in my iPad, uh, LumaVision. I use LumaVision, and I'll do it all the editing. But I'll, I'll do it most of the time. I'm doing more portrait now, just because it just seems they seem to go viral or whatever. They just seem to go. It's I hate it, but it they, they do. But yeah. I, I, I do shoot a lot of them. I just keep them in landscape. And that, like I said, allows me to go put stuff above and below. It'll still, it's still accepted that way. It just, the picture is a little bit small. And you can you can kind of advertise what you want to advertise on there. And everything's still vis visible. Like, I, I wish that IG was more user-friendly on yeah. computers. It's not at all. Like, it's you can't not. do jack right. on a computer. And so, yeah. because I do everything on my computer, oh, like it, yeah. it's hard for me to get it over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
it is yeah. easier on your phone than than computer. It's a pain in the butt on computer. For sure, man. Uh, so sure, Kitty's out. Uh, good to have you, man. Yeah, enjoy your nap. Uh, oh, AZ, so Cat nap. AZ, do you you got the the vid, man? Is that what's going on? You can't taste anything. No, uh, he's got a sinus infection. Oh, okay. Uh, dang, dude, you haven't hit that Doc Swinson's yet, man. Maybe that's what you need. All right, later, Chris. Good to see you, man. Here's Chris. See you, Chris. I almost got run out of mash and metal for not being a Pantera <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> I mean, it seems fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Sean makes the rules, you know. That seems fair. Uh -oh. Yeah, I mean, so, like, I, I know <laughs> that... Like, there's a lot of metal guys that have issue with Pantera because they're groove metal and they're not actually heavy metal or thrash or death metal or whatever the, th the genres that are, uh, yeah. like, accepted or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm not – I don't really consider myself, like, a metal snob. So, like, I don't care. Like, I will listen to new metal. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it's as good as the old stuff, but, I, I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's not it's like, oh, this is trash. Out, What's that? Great to work out. New metal is great to work out to, actually. Yeah. And like uh, everybody was giving me shit last week because I compared, I was putting corn up against Pantera. They're like, "Oh, this is you know, this is stupid. Uh, corn sucks." Uh, I like you know, corn. I like yeah. corn. I, I seen corn live in concert uh, when uh, he was torn with uh, Rob Zombie when Hellbilly Deluxe came out, and that was right at a time where I think Follow Your Follow the Leader had came out. And it was a hell of a show, man. They they both oh. put on a really good show, but yeah, I, oh yeah, I, that that oh. album of Corn, I, I I I could listen to the whole way through, you know. But but far beyond Driven, it's just hard to beat, you know. That would have been True. awesome back in the day if Corn would have toured with Hole, the Corn Hole tour. That would have been awesome. <laughs> the great <laughs> Corn oh, video. Gosh, I mean, just for that would have been great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, cheer, cheers, Adam. And also, Adam, uh, because he's a Patreon and he won last month, he got to choose our next Mash and Metal battle. And that is, what the hell did you send me? Is it, it's Kill Switch Engage and Parkway Drive, right? That's oh, what we're doing. Dude, I like Kill Switch Engage too. Yeah. I feel like that's, is that right, Adam? Kill Switch Engage versus Parkway Drive? I think that's what you sent me. Parkway Drive. Something. I don't even know that I've heard of Parkway Drive, honestly. I feel like I'm saying it. I feel like that's not the name. I, th I think I'm screwing it up, but I'm very tired. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, I got it. I got it right. Yeah, okay. Parkway Drive. I don't think I've heard of them. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna go. We're gonna do. So the way I'm gonna do it next week because Adam just want to do like band versus band rather than album versus album. So and that's the thing, Patreons. Uh, you guys get to choose. Like when you win, you get to choose whatever the heck you want. So. Um, so we're doing like the top 10 listen to songs from each band on Spotify. So yeah, that's, that's what we'll be doing next week. Um, this week, of course, Ozzy versus Steel, which, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good um, one. I meant to ask you, how do you get around the copyright stuff? You don't. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, then. Well, that, that was a quick answer. I'm like, okay, because I keep getting copyright strikes. And like, if I have like three notes of something, I'm like, crap, dude. Yeah. Man, yeah, so, no, so, so here's my plan for Mash and Metal is that the content will not have things in it that are, will get copyright strikes, but all the lives will never be monetized because there's no right. way you can. It's no, impossible. Right. So actually, I guess the record company that, that owns Pantera's music actually took down the stream off of YouTube. Like they took the stream down. What? Yeah. So like they, they allowed us, they allowed us to go live and go through it all, but they would not leave it on YouTube. They actually took it off of YouTube. Wow! There he is, the Mashville. What's up, brother? Mashville, Mashville. what's up, my man? Yeah. So some of these lives, folks, on Mash Metal, if you're not there for them, they might not be there the next day. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. They're fun. Okay. Too. I, I love that that content. Like Two Ten Ninety and now Mash and Metal. I, that's that is fun, man. That's one of the more fun things that the activities that go on on these on these streams yeah man i mean it's like i mean for me it was just like a natural fit because that's what i do yeah when i'm not on here that's what i'm doing i'm listening to music and drinking whiskey anyway so 
why not uh, do it with a bunch of other people? Yeah. That's like me. I just swing axes all day. So I thought, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Drink <laughs> bourbon and swing axes. Hell yeah. You you said the magic word. You said the magic word, Sean. What's that? You said Parkway. You said Parkway fucking drive. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for those who don't know, Parkway Drive is know. a a hardcore is like a, a harder hard, harder band out of Australia. Okay. Um they only tour here they, they usually only tour here in the States about once every five years. Um Luckily for me, they're touring this year. The last time I saw them, uh, the sound system went blew up at the uh, vi- the venue, and so I only got about six songs in before they had to shut it down. Oh, um, shit. They were on. It was actually Kill Switch on that that particular tour. Kill Switch opened up for them um, here in the states. Uh, they switched back and forth nights, and so I got to see Kill Switch play. Cool. In vain play. But then Parkway Drive, six songs in, had to shut it down. Um, one of my favorite bands. They're so they're freaking awesome. Uh, so I I'm in for them Saturday. I will find a way to make sure that I can come on next uh, next Saturday because Kill Switch I've seen uh, eleven times, five times on the same tour. Um, okay. And uh, Parkway Drive is there's like two of literally two of my favorite freaking bands outside of like thrash and stuff like that so all right sounds like we're pumped up about it i like it yeah right yeah and i and like i said i'm i'll uh i don't know how you want to go about it but uh i'll put together a playlist of some parkway drive songs and send it over to you so you know who they are and what the because they've got six or seven different albums yeah, so I so the way I was gonna do it, it like like I said earlier, is I'm just doing the the top ten listen to songs from each band on Spotify. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so because Adam right. was saying like he he loves like like the stuff that like their their hits on Spotify. That he, that's what he goes through on his playlist, I guess. And so that that's what we're gonna do. So uh, you're probably gonna get to hear Holy Diver two weeks in a row. <laughs> heck yeah, <laughs> not not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, damn you! You said kill switch engaged, and now the version of Holy Diver is playing in my head. Won't stop. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, now, Adam, I know you're in chat, and I know this might be offensive, but I still love the Dio version better. Uh, I do. I think the the original is just like it's one of those songs that like I don't know if you could make it better. Um, so that said, Kill Switch's version is fantastic. So, uh, oh, yeah. this group rocks, dude. Also, uh, there is the link to uh, the channel that uh, Miss, Mr. Whiskey Shits runs there. Live Wire Whiskey, of course, with Stall there. Check them out if you don't know who they are for some reason. Yep. The record Sunday, company took it. Sunday will be a head to head battle between myself and, and Chris from Whiskey Eyes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> as, as much as I love Trish, and she is a fantastic woman, she is the woman responsible for my logo in fact and many logos on whiskey too mm. i gotta say jim I, my money's on you so so don't let me down <laughs> uh we'll see i i fully i fully expect to lose i think trish has a better nose and palate than i do even if she's been out of the game who, who yeah sent you guys out the blinds stall nice okay uh, Lou saying the record company took it down because the comparison to corn was offensive. <laughs> oh, come on, Lou. Corn, you know, uh, Lou, <laughs> Lou hates corn. Just, uh, just in case anybody didn't, didn't know that from last week, corn was influential for the time. Oh, that that right. first album was a bit whiny. You know, I disagree. I think their first album is heavier than most of the stuff they put out later, but, uh, John Cranston, love Parkway Drive. Nice Green Bay has a metal station. Oh, there you go, dude. I can't believe I, that group rocks, dude. I can't believe I didn't know who that was. That's the that's the music I listened to right there. That first hey, song, Bob, uh, Bobby, you, glitch, yeah, King, dang. If you get if Bobby, if you get a chance to freaking uh, just pick a like an album, uh, one album to listen to, listen to Iyer. Okay. Or uh, or okay. Um, Darker still also, reference. Yeah, D- uh, Deep Blue is another. It's one of their first, uh, first uh, earlier albums. That's another one that's pretty badass too. But they're all badass. Uh, they just came yeah. out with a new album at the end of the year called 
darker still. So yes, yeah, I'm looking at that one now. That dude, that crew freak. I can't, I'm pissed off. I didn't didn't know who they were. <laughs> dude, they rock. Just the first ten seconds, I'm like, oh, this crew rocks. Yeah, yeah. So, but. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Actually, I wasn't going to come on here at all. And then freaking you said Kill Switch and Parkway, and I was like, I got to come on there for a few Dude, minutes. I got homework to do before tomorrow now. I got to listen to these like all these albums. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so so Kill Switch and Parkway will be two Saturdays from now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah, this tomorrow, Saturday, tomorrow is the Aussie, right? Yeah, this Saturday is, is Blizzard of Oz versus uh, Holy Diver. Yeah, and, and the reason for that, obviously, is because they were both, you know, former lead singers of Black Sabbath, and these are both their first solo albums after Black Sabbath. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah that girl, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm gonna, I can't wait to send this to my son. I can't wait to send this to Parker. He's gonna love this, dude. <laughs> Parker Drive. <laughs> Well, yeah. I got to go drop off some stuff at UPS real quick, so I'll talk to everybody later. All right, Stanley. Brother. Cheers, Thanks, brother. Man. Uh, so, easy seeing Number of the Beast might be a better versus for Holy Diver. So, in like as far as the amount that I like them, maybe. Um, but, like, I, I just explained the, the why as to why we're doing Aussie versus uh, Dio, which I think most people already know that. Yeah. Uh, Jim is pinch hitting his way to a yeah, champ. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Corn's good, but Pantera once they went heavy is superior. Just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, you know, cool stuff. Uh, so we should probably circle back to whiskey because this is not tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. So you see, Woods, I'm kind of with you. Like, I mean, there's songs here and there on the other Pantera albums that are great. But Cowboys is still number one for me, and then Vulgar Display is two, and then Far Beyond Driven. It's just kind of like descending order, really. I think they just continually got worse. Um, but anyway, because, you know, heroin is a hell of a drug. So, <laughs> so having, had, so having had, had a couple more pours of this, Dad's hat. I got to get it. I haven't had that. Is it growing on you, Jim? It, it it's opened up it's opened up a little bit the this, the rice spice is definitely there on the finish but again it's not like a slap you in the face burning rice spice like it's not Alberta premium cast strength or, or, or stellum it, it's but it's got spice on, on on the finish and up front it's kind of like a a sweet and it's still it's not a it's not a harsh and it's still not like if, you, if you've ever had the, the one that immediately jumps to mind is Old Overhold, either the 80, 80 proof or the 86 proof. That's just okay. whacking you inside the head with an anise stick all day long. Yeah. Uh, this yeah, is not you... that. Okay. I, I mean, get for that. what it's worth, I... this is a really easy easy sipping rye. I, I see that all the time at Total Wine, but I've, I've never picked it up. Is, is it worth picking it up for um, retail? Uh, uh, for... Forty bucks. If you haven't had it, it's 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 uh, uh it's certainly worth a punt. Okay. Oh, Bobby, actually, while I got you, um, those ECVP picks that are at uh, what is it, Dry Creek? Yeah. Are they still around? Or are they gone? Y yeah, actually, I, I I was just there, and I'm, I'm literally just texting him right now, dude. Oh, <laughs> okay, cool. Larceny barrel proof, dude. Yeah, yeah man. I, I just oh, saw so, him there the other day. Wait, so. Do you guys have a one twenty three already out there? Uh, let me see. He's is that what you're is that what you're asking about? He's got twenty twos. He's got the B and C twenty two still. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, because I'm looking for somebody that has access to an a one twenty three. Because if I wait for Kentucky to get it, I get it like two months after everybody else gets it. So okay, I can I can ask him when he's going to get it because I, I'm I'm kind of waiting for that too. Because for review purposes, if you're not if you don't get it in the first week or so, you might as well not even do it. Yeah, right. Because uh, no, like if you do it two months later, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, yeah, Kentucky is just super slow to get anything, even though it's made freaking two hours away. <laughs> it, it does, yeah, that's gotta drive you nuts, dude. It, it's a little annoying. Yeah, it's well, it's pretty damn annoying. Like like how I pay like thirty eight dollars for a gallon of gas in the refineries right down the street. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm like 
it drives me nuts. Do I pay the, the most for gas? Like, pull up, like, hey, guys, can you fill me up? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just take a half gallon. Half gallon. I just need to get it home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cheers, Roscoe. Good to see you, man. Ready for tomorrow night. That's all I'm saying. Hell yeah, man. Uh, Jim, yeah, don't underestimate yourself. You will do great. Cheers. Dave Bates, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Steel Panther, rock. Hell yeah. Um, so, uh, Paul, you still stepping on the uh, uh, Sam, Sam Houston? Houston? No, I, I, I moved to the... Uh, oh, that's right, the Dickle now. Yeah. How's the comparison going? Um, well, first of all, I thought all Dickle 15s were like a little over 100 proof, but this one is... 44 or 84.4 hmm. proof so it's a very low proof uh and it wasn't i i had a dickel 15 that i i must have polished off in like two weeks because it was just i don't know it was like incredible bottle this one yeah. i'm gonna have to let open up and kind of see it's not oh, bad but it just didn't wow me like the last one fresh crack there yeah. Okay. Uh, well, no, this one's this is like my second pour. Okay. It. So yeah, it's it's relatively, it's within a week. Gotcha. Two ten ninety. What's up? Is, do we got Todd? I assume it's Todd. Uh, Andy did show up a couple times, so I, I can't assume it's Todd anymore. It's usually Todd. It's usually Todd. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Todd. Yeah. So uh, actually, Todd, what, what do we got? Because um, I don't, I don't think you guys did. You guys announce it? What do you guys got coming up? Uh, of course, it's Todd. <laughs> okay, fine, fair enough. Um, yeah, what do you guys got coming up uh, Tuesday? Did you guys announce it? Maybe you did on the the Friday night thing, and I haven't watched it. Yet. I've been busy today. To the main stage, it's a party. Hell yeah. And uh, for anybody that's not sub to 2 to 90, you should be because their Tuesday night show is freaking phenomenal. Uh, it's basically where I just steal all my ideas from. So, <laughs> <clears throat> going to be drinking with the old lady tomorrow night. So, I will only be in and out of Eminem stream. Hose before bros. Yeah, you know, you got to get it in, literally. Um, Goes before bros. Uh, wasn't that opposite supposed to be opposite? <laughs> goes before bros. <laughs> I am reading chat. You hear that? You hear this, Woods? I'm getting yelled at for reading your chat now. Close the door. <laughs> oh, Sean's death in it. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so. I see. Awesome. I see Dickle Picks littering the shelves and getting dusty. Need to try one. Yeah, I mean, so, AZ, I know people talk crap about Dickle all the time. But the older Dickle stuff, which is, there's no way to say that where it doesn't sound awful. Dude, um, oh, my gosh. But, uh, and and, and that's, that's a big problem with the Dickle brand, honestly, honestly is the friggin' name. The but, Dickle Picks? Uh, honestly, those, those old Dickles... Pretty good. <laughs> Clip it. It's yeah. a lot better than saying those younger dickles. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. That, that, gets, yeah, that gets you in jail when you say that. <laughs> the old gusty dickles. <laughs> yeah, you can you stay out of jail at least. Yeah, right. yeah, those barrel strength dickles. Okay. So uh Todd's saying they got something new for the music segment on Tuesday. Oh. Sweet man. Nice. At least it ain't a chunk. Like, yeah, that's right. I just got yelled at. It's okay. You can blow that off. Uh, what's up, Roscoe? Cheers. Yeah, there you go. Tom, I'm including two samples of the cognac finish one. Thanks, man. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's see. You guys are chatting. Much. This is not the first time I've been accused of being a bad influence on <laughs> friends' wives. Not yeah. even close. Yeah. yeah. So, Wood says, love you, Miss Wars. There you go. That makes it all better, I feel like. Um. Jim didn't mind Dickel 12 the other week. There you go. Yeah, Jim, what, so, so the, the let Dickel the record show that Jim recipe. likes 12 year old Dickel. It's not the 12 year old, it's the, it's the superior 12 recipe. As opposed Shred. to the Dickel 8. Hey. Shred. 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 Cheers, brother. 
Shred, what's up, brother? What is going on, man? How the hell are you guys? Good, man. Good, man. Looks looks like you got a, a beer trim. You're looking uh, looking cleaned up there. Oh yeah, you know, get a little. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Fair enough, buddy. Look, yeah, looking man, looking was... pretty, yeah. Hey, thanks, man. I was starting to look like a homeless guy, really fitting in with that California shit. You know? Yeah, no there shit, you go. Yeah, right? <laughs> just, pick, just like pick a tent and uh, hang out. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I can definitely afford that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, if I ever have, if I ever have to to move into a tent, I'm gonna be warm a long time. I got, I love liquid Hell keeping yeah. warm for a while. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so this, uh, I, I'm still, I'm unsure how to feel about it, but this, uh, Master Journey pick, it's opening up, it's getting better as I, or I'm just getting drunk or whatever the case, but, um, yeah, it's, it's not so women's perfume anymore. I'm hoping it opens up and becomes, it becomes an awesome bottle. If not, then I'll just be sending samples out to everybody. <laughs> It'd like send a whole bottle of, uh. <clears throat> Uh, small batch, <laughs> Garrison Brothers. Small batch. Dude, I'm so there you glad, go. I'm so glad you didn't like that too, because I'm like, man, you know what? Actually, I'm missing it. I, I've never, I've never drank it with you, so this seems like the time. Um, hey, Bobby, I got these guys right here. Oh, right on, dude. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rocking, I got them. I, I think I'm, I'm liking the Disco Six more than the Four or Five, which is crazy to say. I don't know. I was telling you, dude, it was uh, all three of those. The four, I, I was like, uh, I mean, I just didn't get the hype behind it. That's all. I'm like, uh, some like, big channel said they were good. Like, oh, shit, I got to say they're good. Like, uh, no, nope. yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, I, I okay. like the six over over all of the three for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think I, ended, you know what? I blinded him. I think I ended up like in the four bed after I was talking crap about it. <laughs> nice. I might have to go back. I mean, I, that was only the first night I tried them, but yeah. <clears throat> Good shit. So, man. Thank you. Yeah. You, well, it's Bob, my pleasure, man. You sent me a bunch of stuff. So, Shred, I'm yeah. curious specifically, uh, Bobby, you sent him, you sent him eight and nine? Uh, four, five, and six. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I stopped buying them after a while. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, like, uh, I'm just I'm not getting anywhere with this. It's okay for me. It was okay. I mean, and it wasn't bad. It was just like I, it didn't live up to the hype for me. I agree. Yeah, that's that seems pretty spot on. I mean, like the discos are cool. I, I think what kills it for me is the price point. Like it's yeah, just I, I like Fusion better actually. Series. Oh, okay. I know it's cheaper, but you know, uh, yes, yeah. I'm just I just uh, you, eight. <laughs> you got you guys might. Hate me for saying this, but I, I passed up a Russell's single Rick house and a Four Roses uh, LE today. I mean, okay, it depends on, it depend on the price. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, the, the Russell's, were, they were asking 300 for the oh, Russell's no, single Rick house. No, I was I like, no. That. And then the, the Four Roses was 179 and I just... I don't know. I I'd be do tempted. It, I'd be tempted at one seventy nine. I was very I was tempted, man. I was like, oh man, one seventy nine. That's yeah. hard to come by. You don't see those too often, you know. If that was flip flop, yeah. then I'd have been like, dude. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. I would hit that Russell's for one seventy nine all oh, day. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. I would have. Yeah, so if I'm remembering right, it seems like when Jason did his blind, he like he blinded like a Russell's pick that he did. He did a thirteen and he did the single Rick House. And it feels like both of them beat the single Rick house from remembering. Think, right. Yeah, I think so, man. I really so, got those. Like it's, it's good, but it, I mean, I think it's more like, just like, uh, it's one of those bottles that it's not going to come around again kind of thing. You know, it's a one-time thing. So I, I, I don't know. Russell's, uh, the liquor by the lakes. I'm just, I'm almost at the end of the bottle, man, with that, uh, the, uh, the Lord Schlong, uh, acquired. Yeah. Russell's pick. You know, so like when we were chatting about that, I like I totally misunderstood the beginning of the conversation that you already had a backup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, well, no, I don't. I don't have a back. I I only have. I I was able to get one bottle. Oh shit! What's up, Derek? Derek hey, in the yeah. house. What's up? How you man? doing? How you doing? Here's Derek. Hey, hey, hey. No, I I was able to get one bottle from Shane. I was able to like sweet talk him into one. We did another trade that you know I don't want to discuss on the air. But uh, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. 
I had to grease the wheels a little bit on there, but yeah. Um, yeah, I was able to get one of those uh, Liquor by the Lakes picks, and oh, it's so good, man. But yeah, I, I, I don't have a backup. I was just saying, like, I would definitely trade anybody a lot of different shit for a backup of that one. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so, like, I, I like mine a lot. It's just that, so what, it, what you have uh, a B520, right? B C920. Oh, uh, C920. I've, yeah. I've, that's the, the only unopened uh, ECBPs that I have are this year's C922, well, last year's, and the C920. So yeah. I have a 920 and a 922 I, that I, I just don't have I just, I just ran across uh, a C922 uh, uh, this afternoon. Nice. I, I went in a neighborhood I was not welcomed in, and I saw some nice shit, and I was like, well, God damn. And I, and I bought it. There you go. So that that was my favorite ECB fee from last year, Derek. Uh, so okay. I, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a killer bottle. I haven't opened it. I haven't opened it yet. But as I often remind you guys, I'm a drinker, not a collector. That being said, that bastard will be open at some point in the near future. Well, so Derek, I, I'm with you, man. So I am also a drinker. It's just that I buy whiskey faster than I drink. That's the secret to the bottles around me. Um, I just buy a gross amount of whiskey. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll let you have that. I'll let you have that. I mean, I, I, I want to say outright, do not follow my pattern of life. This is not the pattern for success. No, no let me tell you something, Sean. I will say this. If I was in a position in my life, let's just say I own this 3,200 square foot shit outright. Gotcha. Okay. If I owned it outright, yeah, I would probably do a lot more damage than I <laughs> than I currently do. <laughs> I got I and, got and the fact of it is that you know I have a, a twelve year old going on thirteen year old, and she's inherited, unfortunately, my height. Gotcha. So every month, there's a new wardrobe. And not because we're 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 we're, we're we we know we, we're one of those people. We're not. <laughs> it's just that she's grown a fucking yep. average. I foresee her being a fucking six foot three girl. What the fuck? <laughs> nice. Better, better start calling out the WNBA, Derek. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's let's put that height to work, man. Let's make oh, some money my, on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, I can see that by the way, and and that happens quite a bit by the way. Well, hopefully, when she gets older, she'll stop growing. But at this point, yeah, she's growing just like I did. Yeah. How how tall are you, Derek? Six foot two in both directions, baby. Gotcha. That's right. We, we... <laughs> uh, there you go. Hey, Joe. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. I do feel like it. Sure. Thanks yeah, for that. Man. Thanks for the for the <laughs> Patreon shout. I appreciate it. Got the shelf turd special here. There yeah. you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pat's blue. Yeah. My, so my, uh, my best friend, my best friend yeah. to this day, still drinks PBR. You know. Well, so I and I take I'm, him. I take him to corporate events. I'll be. I'll be quick, Sean. I take him to corporate events, and everyone else is buying all this fancy ass alcohol. My boy Tommy goes. Uh, I'll take a PBR. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always so, solid, man. It's always good. You know who else drinks it? And I, I know this for a fact because I shared one with him. LaJohn Witherspoon from Seven Dust. Uh, yeah, so uh, this was probably six, seven years ago. Seven Dust did the New Year's show at House of Blues down in Orlando. Um, killer show, just by the way. Seven Dust is freaking amazing. Uh, love those. I mean, they're just great dudes. Uh, and so... Show's over, and they had some, like, local band, like, come up after them and just kind of keep people entertained while we're still drinking kind of thing. And so I go back to the bar to get another beer, and LeJohn is sitting at the bar. No one's paying attention to him. I don't know how they didn't recognize him because, I mean, he was just on stage. But, like, he was, you know, he changed clothes, and so he's just kind of chilling. He had, like, a hoodie on, and um, like I, I sit right beside him, and I, I'm like, I just kind of look over to my left, and... It's him. You know, he's like, dude, like, what, what are you doing here? 
uh, he's like, hey, man, I'm just, just chilling like you. And so, and he's drinking uh, a PBR. And I was like, hey, you mind if we uh, talk over a beer? And so I, I got a PBR with him. And then we, uh, yeah, good times. I don't really remember much of it because I was really wasted. I just remember the fact that he was there. <laughs> nice. I like yeah, I, I liked him as a comedian, by the way. His his routines his routines were corny, but so are mine. So I, I, he was right off my branch. <laughs> okay. What's it, what's your go to uh, cheap beer, Derek? Like if you go for like a bottom shelf for a kind of beer. What what like Budweiser oh, Coors, uh, oh, oh, Miller? Oh, oh, okay, all right. So, unfortunately, you asked that question. So <laughs> it, this is this is on you. Um, I don't like the taste of um, not um, oh, god damn, what is beer made out of? Hops. Hop, Hop. Thank you, thank you. I don't Hop, like water, the taste. barley. I don't take. I mean, thank you, but I don't like the taste of hops. So as a result, oh, okay. the only beers that I drink are either stout oh, or the shit from Belgium. Oh, okay. So okay. I, I will beer. drink a Chimay Blue and Chimay Red. Yeah, uh, dude, the Chimay Blue. That's a good one, man. I and like there that. is a there's a brewery somewhere in Michigan that has something called Dragon's Milk. New Holland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'll drink their stuff. Only the original Dragon's Milk. They come up with two or three other varieties that I can taste the hops through, and I threw it all out. Um, okay. I went back and got the original. Yeah, I'm funny acting like that. Those, so, those Dragon's Milks are good beers, though. So, yeah, I have one of those in the fridge. I keep meaning to crack. <laughs> uh, so, so, so like, what, what, like, Woods is just oh, pointing okay. out why I have too many bottles around me, Derry. But this is the secret right here. I buy at least one bottle of whiskey every week, but I do not drink an entire bottle of whiskey every week. That is yep. why I have shelves full of whiskey. So, my goal typically is to buy two. I don't to like three the direction bottles. this is going. So, uh, I'm not. <laughs> do not. Do not take my advice. This is terrible advice. I'm I don't just. Like I'm, the direction this is I'm going. just trying to explain. Just trying to explain why my house looks the way. Yeah, you see if you're Derek. Uh, yeah, so Ben shows up to taunt you. <laughs> I, I want to just say this a bottle of Old Forest to 1920. Uh huh. It's like a virgin in a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it's and a good one, quote, man. It's a good one. And the quote, the great Forrest Gump, that's all I got to say. About that. So, yeah, man. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so here's my pattern of, of life, Derek. I try and buy a bottle that is budget friendly every week that I can kill. I try and buy a nice bottle or like, you know, 50, $60 bottle every week and the, an even nicer bottle than that. That's what I try and do every week. I, can, I don't accomplish that every week, but that's the goal. Um, and that's what leads to this nonsense. Mm. <laughs> I will tell you, there are certain things that stay upstairs because I actually, with my new job, I cleared out all the bullshit so I can keep some bottles here in my office. Sean Willis. But uh, I actually, uh, I keep some things upstairs, some things that I want to keep up with. I keep an unopened bottle of 1920 up there because I don't dare bring mm -hmm. that down here because, again, we've spoken about it. The 1920. Um, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then think of it like this here, Sean. I have a very tight window to drink my alcohol. I got you. I have to drink it either Friday, Saturday, and Monday. I thought you were going to say any day that ends with Y. And, and the problem that that's that's, that's, that's that's my window. That's rich. That's rich. <laughs> and, and and maybe. Whatever Thursday I can catch Dan. Gotcha. Uh huh. So the other days I'm dry, and so yes, it becomes just like those fat people on my people, the fat people who uh, binge diet. You know, they diet, and all of a sudden they get off the diet. Then all of a sudden they start binge eating. Uh, that's the same way I actually do with alcohol. I do three days off. 
And all of a sudden, when I come on Dan's channel, I'm ready to make a fool out of myself. <laughs> I, did, I did a little bit of that this Thursday, but, uh, you know, it happens. What, what can you do? Uh, and and I, I'm with you, Shred. Yeah, Heineken, I don't yeah. know how it got so popular, man. It is not a good tasting <laughs> beer. I do not that's understand awesome. the Heineken love. I, I really that, do not a, get it. I will that's say a quote from I, uh, Blue Velvet. Say this about Heineken, just oh, so you guys okay. know. I, I do believe at 32,000 feet, Heineken is about as delicious as it comes. Because I think everything is delicious at 32,000 feet. At 32,000 feet. There's that specification there. Yeah. I actually take Woodford Reserve, something I probably would never drink at home. Uh huh. Damn Jerry it. Black. But God damn True, it. Man. Every True. time I fly by myself, because that's the caveat, I need to fly by myself. When I fly by myself, of course, I'm in the front of the plane and they give you free booze. Uh, and of course, most airlines serve Woodford Reserve. I have to tell you, at 32,000 feet, Woodford Reserve is almost like candy. It'll get it done. The other choices, it's right? Like candy. <laughs> yeah, man. I got the little mini bottles of Buffalo Trace on my last flight. They, I was like, uh, just give me like three of those right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just took, took two down really quick, save one for later. It was oh, all right, so, man. I, I, oh, I, I usually don't like Buffalo Trace, man. It's kind of plain to be kind of grassy. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I up, agree. up in the 30,000 feet. So, you know, yeah, pretty and, good. You know, I have nothing there. to drink with a reserve. I just would never <clears throat> buy it or drink it here in my house. However, when I'm on an airplane, that's it's yeah. almost like uh, Kool Aid. Hit that. This is like, you got like two or three, hopefully three choices. Normally, it's just two choices on an airplane, right? Mm -hmm. of, of a bourbon or right. a, a whiskey, right? So I'm like, man, this is, you started looking at it differently. Man, this one's gold compared to this Jack Daniels. Right. Oh, Jim oh, Beam oh, White. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, when the options are Jim yeah. White or Buffalo Trace, you're taking Buffalo Trace. Yeah, you'll be you'll be acting like you're drinking Pappy. No, <laughs> yeah, for let's, sure. Let's leave Buffalo. Let's leave Jack Daniels alone. I actually like Jack Daniels. Oh, I'll leave it alone. I don't, I don't drink. It. Yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it all for you, Derek. You can have all of it. You can have my my whole share. Yeah. Oh my goodness! But I would tell you this though, uh, uh, bad ex bourbon. Have you tried Jack Daniels at thirty thousand feet? Oh, have I, I'm sure I have. Yes, it mixed with coke. Yeah, that yeah the way exactly. <laughs> See, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Stop that shit. Uh, <laughs> put, that, put that in the glass. Put that in the glass. Maybe depending on how hot you are, one cube of ice. And by the way, we're dealing with flight attendants, so you need to ask them for a glass of ice, an empty glass, and the Jack Daniels. Cannot ask them to. That's right. <laughs> yeah, That's they're, right. they're gonna screw it up. They're gonna screw don't, it up. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, don't do that thing. But if you actually control your one cube of ice inside of Jack Daniels at thirty thousand feet, you'll come down on that plane going, you know, maybe I've missed just Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, when so, I say Jack Daniels, it's old number seven. That oh, show. I don't drink that. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that, that's when I, because I, I do like some Jack Dan, Jack Daniels products. I, I have a, for not liking it. I have a lot of Jack Daniels products. Uh, like like, like this guy cool. right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, Look at that sexiness that right there. Yeah, I got that. I, like that. I got that from this sexy fella right here. I got this oh, sexy bottle oh, from this oh. sexy fella. <laughs> and the Koi Hill. The Koi Hill is delicious. I've had two or three of those. Taste, they're delicious. Oh, I don't like either one of those, actually. It's got oh, or, free, or that triple mash. I really don't like them. Really? Yeah. The problem I'm okay, okay, okay with. The I, don't, I, mean, yeah, I can understand the triple mash because that one, that it's if you're not digging the single single malt component in there, you're not going to like it. Yeah, <laughs> man, but that bonded, that's bourbon of the year, man. That's delicious. The, the, the problem <laughs> I have. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's better than almost seven, but bourbon of the year. How much, how, how much money did you pay that bourbon at? Dude, that's yeah. crazy. Even if you like it, I mean, really, bourbon of the year? Come on. And, and the no, problem I have yeah. with those Come two bottles you just put up uh, uh, are where I can get them from, they're priced inappropriately. And yeah. Oh, absolutely. They're 25 bucks for me. Okay. I can find find oh, the bonded oh, oh, for... Oh, hold on, Bad X. 35 uh, to bad, 40. 
Uh, where the, the fuck do you live? Crash goes from anywhere from 40, 40 to you said 50. where? California. It's red. You get it for 25, oh. 30 bucks. Right? Yeah, no, I, I live about two hours, two and a half hours from Bobby. From and yeah, yeah. I, I can they're, find that shit. They're for, everywhere. I get it in my it, grocery store. I, I can find it for under 30 bucks right now for yeah. sure. Oh, hell no. I'll tell you what, I would be willing to try it, but like I said, I'm not nah, because they're not, they're small bottles, right? Dude. So no, no. Well, it's seven hundred instead of seven fifty. It's not. Yeah, and you know what? I saw I said it's not I, like this I, I, little I'm guy. I'm gonna right split here. those hairs. They're doing seven fifties now. Actually, <laughs> like this fucking... they're doing seven fifties. And I saw uh, right next at, in Total Wine. I saw seven fifties right next to the seven hundreds in Total Wine. They're, they're doing them both now. Oh well, oh, see wow. where, where yeah, I'm coming was... from, where I live, the seven fifties haven't arrived yet, and this and the seven hundreds cost too much. And my take yeah. on it is, at least right now, for the price of those two bottles that Jim pulled up, um, I can get one and a half bottles of 1920. And you guys know how I feel about that. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, wait, how, how do you feel about the new 1920 compared to the old one, Derek? Have you noticed any? Because yes. I've only had the old one, and I have a backup of the old one. But I haven't cracked it because I'm kind of sitting on it. You, the problem I have, and it's it's a simple problem. I've listened to people talk about it, and so that's, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Ah, ah. and 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 some people, and you got to love this. Some people say, "Oh, there's no difference. There's no difference." And then those same people, months later, claim there is a difference. And so as a result, I'm just going to say this. I haven't found there to be a difference. Um, All right. If if I did find there to be a difference, let me just say it this way. I think I've fallen in love with the new label. <laughs> so something, whatever changed, if if something did change, um, I think I prefer the new label. All right. My nice. my, All right. my take is uh, comparing them a few different times is that the new stuff is younger. Um, not like significantly, but you know, I, I they took a couple of years off it. You know, uh, I, Sean, I, Sean, I'll, I'll go there with you for a second. You know, just like gals, some young gals are better than other young gals. <laughs> Shit, so that go. being said, here you go. All right. So, so that so that being said, perfect comparison. I hear you. No, no, I hear you. But there are some young whiskeys out here that just downright disgust me so the, and, and what you're saying is the old one has more experience but the younger ones are more fun in the long run you said that shit that i didn't but i love you <laughs> <laughs> hey uh you know what while we're talking because you guys were talking about jd there uh another bad whiskey this right here uh, uh, let me tell you so bobby i forgot i forgot, <laughs> forgot how bad this was I, don't, I haven't even taken a sip yet. This nose is awful. Dude, uh, I'm telling you, uh, man. Because, <laughs> man, when we were talking about, yeah, send that to me. And Elisa said, hey, what are you waiting for? Get that like, stuff. Get it out of the house. <laughs> I'm like, because he, he, Sean loves uh, Texas whiskey. I'm like, well, you can love this one. Let's see if you see if you love this one. Dude, it's not good. I was. <clears throat> I, I will say. The palate is better than the nose, but still not good. It's better than um, a, a, a rotten foot smell. The, the oh, nose is the oh, nose is oh. the nose smells like something you shouldn't drink. Like it might poison you. Yeah. It smells chemically. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't good. I was it, happy so to say that. It, it kind of reminds me of the nose that you get on uh, just the standard Woodenville, the ninety proofer. That that has a little bit of a wood stain smell. This kind of has that same thing going on, you know. That uh, something you would you would uh, you know preserve wood with, not drink. Um. <laughs> like tangy tangy wood, not mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Hey, what's your guys' opinion on uh, this guy? Pick this up. There you go. Yeah. All right. Oh, I've, oh I've man! Blind, I haven't I've, had that. I've dude. done a blind with the Chattanooga port and uh, with. Um, Oh, the one that uh, in Louisville, the port finished I don't there. Know the Angel's Envy. And, oh, uh, yeah. 
the uh, the the Bowman won it for me, and I thought the Chattanooga port was going to blow it out the water, but I, nice. I thought it was pretty good as a port. Nice. I I have the other. I have the J Bowman, the single barrel, the one that's supposed to be like Blanton's. Yeah. And then I have I have the A, whatever the other one is, the the A Bowman uh, small batch. The one that's like a ninety Bowman proofer. Brothers, yeah, it's just Bowman yeah. There's Brothers, Bowman Brothers, match. and then there's J Bowman, which is the hundred proof. John Jay, I, I picked this. This I found this for like thirty two bucks, and I was like, eh, I might as well oh. take a chance on it. So yeah, 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 yeah that's, for that's, that price, that's a zipper. Hey, yeah, uh, I just uh, well, Sean, I have a a, a, a P one call that's <laughs> happening right now. If I have to disappear, it's going to be abrupt. Okay, fair uh, enough. All right. <laughs> did, I'm, did monitor, I'm, I'm monitoring it over here, but I'm just saying, if shit gets out of hand, um, I, need I got to, you, man. Thank I need you. to go upstairs, get some coffee, and get on the phone. It, that's like the Matrix. It's like, <laughs> poof, wait till the last second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like that. When the shit get, has hit the fan. Right. When my name gets called, I got to go. Right on. <laughs> yeah, Jake, that's the same. Yeah, that Weller Foolproof. I think I got a sample of that from you, Bobby. But I, yes. that was really, really good. I mean, it was, it's amazing stuff for sure. But I, at the end of the day, I think I just like the Antique 107 more overall. I, I okay. think it's a better model. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I like that Weller. I like the foolproof a lot, and and then I, I go back to the 107. I like I like them both. When I'm drinking, when I'm drinking the foolproof, I like that better. When I'm drinking the 107, I like that one better. Yeah, for sure. I will say blind. this: there's a bar here in Chicago that I actually got a chance to actually try the Weller foolproof, and maybe it was just a bar, but I'm a stickler for mouthfeel. Right. I'm, I want to be smacked in the mouth. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them people. Clip it. And the, problem, <laughs> and the problem I have with Weller and pretty much most of the Buffalo Trace products, um, there, there, there's nothing on the side of my mouth. It's, it's almost like drinking water that's been flavored. Basil Hayden. Yep. Thank you. That's a, that's an outstanding example. That's another one of those whiskeys that that's it's like water that's been flavored with or with bourbon. It just goes straight to the back of my throat, and I'm like, wait, what just happened? And I, nope. and I don't I don't like that sensation. There might be something to that because uh, I mean I I like the well I I wasn't a big Weller fan, but I'm not a Weller fanboy, but I. I like them more. I, I've liked. I've learned to like them more and more as I've I've started drinking them more. So, but I did. I don't know. It was a couple of weeks ago. I think two or three weeks ago. I did a, a the Weller Full Proof and the Larceny Barrels Barrels Barrel Proof from the 2022 or 20, 2020. And you're right with the mouthfeel that the Larceny had a much better mouthfeel. Yeah. To me, and I actually ended up picking that one over the well foolproof. And I, I mean, I'm on record saying I like well foolproof a lot, and I do still. But I was surprised that I, I like the larceny even better. Mm -hmm. I agree, Bobby. I think I think in general, larceny uh, barrel proofs are a better product than yeah. anything I've had from Weller. Uh, I think it's, it's just yeah, it, oh, it's said, more my jam. It's it's less sour uh, good, to Jack's man. point. Um. Yeah, I think it drinks more like a, I don't know, like a sophisticated, well-aged bourbon. And, and now you talk about price. There's no comparison now because the the Wellers are all blown up secondary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get oh, the Larceny oh, for, yeah. eight, for 80 bucks. Exactly. I will tell you this, Sean. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> tasted the sour notes that you refer to. I've watched a couple of your videos. And there are a couple of whiskeys that you complain about sour notes. And some of them I've actually had. And I don't know if I had the sour notes because I think it's one of those I can't get there. Um, it had other problems before I could taste the sour notes. Gotcha. <laughs> so so I couldn't I couldn't get there with you. 
but so what what I would say to that, Derek, is that where I mainly get sour notes is on the finish of Weller products. Um, mm. There's Joe. Well, I clicked it. What's happening here? Come on. There we go. What's up, Joe? What's up, fellas? What's up, my brother? Cheers, brothers. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I, I went. I went and gave Streamyard money so we can get ten on here now. <laughs> oh damn! What, dude? Where's your logo, man? You still got the duck up there, man? What? what? I, I got. <laughs> I got. I got nothing up there right now. Yo, dude, dude, Turk, I I old, what's up? Mean that, little man? skull up there, man. That's a bad logo, man. Yeah, what's I anybody uh, drinking? So I actually I didn't even announce it. Uh, just pouring the the Jepson. Oh, we just lost somebody. Ooh, someone just Redward. Uh. Uh, the Jepsons Friday at Fred's. Uh, yeah, everybody, everybody knows the deal. Friday at Fred's yeah. liquid IV. I got liquid no, IV going. It, it, um, that's a sample, or is that the uh, the bottle? No, no, it's just just oh, a sample. Okay. But the bottle is coming. Uh, okay. so, so Bobby, as, as I said earlier in the stream, Bobby basically talked me into it yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so I'm telling you, Shane needs to hire you as his uh, PR man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't tasted it yet? No, this is first sip right oh, here. Oh, dude, I didn't know you hadn't tasted it yet. No, That's no. This, stuff. this is it, rolling around the glass here. Yeah, I mean, you so, have- so, so, like Joe is, is the one responsible for my <laughs> Magnus love. Um, I was going to say, Joe's got some he, Magnus. Because, Joe, you sent me 58, right? Uh, was it 58? I, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I, All right, I'm back. Sorry. 69, I think it was. No? Hell one. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Who's 68 and I'll owe you one? I, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. either, either way, whatever, whatever uh, sample Joe sent me was fantastic. Um, I think it was 69. Giggity. Uh, but... <laughs> No, that's not a joke. I actually, I think I sent you sixty nine. I have sixty nine. Okay. Um, so I mean, so I mean, you sent it, you know, year. So it it was your it was your whiskey of the year two years ago. That that was as far as I know. That's the one you sent me. So I believe last year last year's winner was um, sixty nine. Okay. <laughs> There you go. I, I mean, why wouldn't it be? And that was the first time I think I did a top 50, so. Okay, I got top you. 50. You did a top there, there is the man himself, the man that picked <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this thing right here in my glass. <laughs> I gem. won't do that again. I won't do that again. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You survived that. Yeah, top 50. I mean, <laughs> anybody else watch that video? Uh, that so you think you think Joe has a lot of bottles in front of him right now? I'm going uh, to now. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just oh, looked like shit, an man. ocean of bottles in front of Joe. It was just it was <laughs> right, so many right, bottles. right, exactly. <laughs> he, can't, he can't store them. He has to put them in front of him. I, I love that. And, and God bless your wife. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. and, and I'll tell you what. Um, I don't even know her, but I, I love your wife. <laughs> that's a lot of shit. That's right. a lot of shit. He, he's, got, he's got a good one. Uh, I, I will tell you guys this. I'm drinking Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. And I'm going to admit choice. something. This is the first time I've had it. You could have never told me that a bourbon at 101 proof would taste this good. Um, okay. Because I am a rehearsed drunk, uh, when you get down to those type of proofs, um, I don't tend not to want them. But this is good. Right on, man. This I, is good. There. It's sometimes I've had some that are really good. I've had some that are super dry. So it kind of depends. You know, I was going to yeah, single exactly. barrel, of course. I was going to say something towards that. Where uh, with Kentucky, there's a I love wild turkey. That's probably if I had to pick a distillery, that'd be the one I'd pick over a buffalo. All that other crap. Yeah. So if I just you know if you're forced into it, but there's there's two. I love wild turkey products, but you know everyone loves the story on Long Branch. They got rid of McConaughey, so you know maybe it gets yeah. better. I don't know. But and Kentucky Spirit would be the only other one that's it's just hit and miss. I do like it, but it, it is yeah. kind of hit and miss. That's the only other one because single. Well, well, I'll tell you this: that I must got to hit because I actually love this bottle. 
The great ones say, are great. I, this, I actually like uh, the rare breed because I had a chance. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, I had a chance to not get the rare breed. Um, <laughs> yeah. I did not. It's too late, it Bobby. It's too late. I have everyone, a budget. Everyone already knows. Dang I got it. a budget these days, <laughs> fellas. Uh, yeah. And I saw the Elijah yeah, baby. Rare proof, and I was like, no more. <laughs> so. So as as Bobby was saying, my whole issue with Kentucky Spirit is it's three times the price of one hundred and one, and it's not always better. Um, so there's that gamble that you know sometimes you get a bottle that's not even as good as a standard one hundred and one, and I'm like, ah. and I'm ashamed to chance, admit man. I've never had the one hundred and one. You got to roll the dice. Hold on so, a minute. Hold okay. on. Did you just say that? Wait, oh, wait there, a there. damn second, there. Derek. <laughs> Hold on. All right, Do they yeah. not? They don't have that in the mid south. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have all turkey. It's, oh, that's awful. Yeah, they're, it's, they're, it's uh, awful. It's awful that you're going there. I feel like I feel like there's two things that the the men in the mid south are known for. Uh, you know the one, and the other one is drinking wild turkey one on one. The issue, the issue is keep in mind, fellows. I I'm, live. I'm in out of, I can't handle this right I now. I just happen to be yeah, from the mid south. How, how, how are we doing? How are we doing, dude? How are we in a, a whiskey, a bourbon, a, a chat channel? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> it's like saying I've never had a beer in my life. Before. <laughs> yeah. What? I feel. What? I feel like we need to. Do we need to send you one, Derek? Do they not have them in Chicago? Hey, 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 no, no, crazy I got, Chicago I got one for eighteen dollars oh, oh, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of them. They're plenty of them around. <laughs> I just I look oh at them. Oh my god! And when I'm in the wild turkey section, I'm I got only, you. I got you. I'm only looking for the rare breed. It's okay. okay. I you saw this it, guy. Dude. I saw this guy, and I was like, hmm, I never had that. I was like, well, let me try him. And so, you guys are right. So yes. Derek, fun, fun experiment. It won't cost you much. Yes. Get yourself yes. A, get yourself a one on one. Get oh, yourself yes. two glasses. Pour yes. them for yourself blind, and see which one you prefer. Yes, I, right I have now. I have had one on one beat yes. Kentucky Spirit, so it's under if twenty bucks. Case, no, if that's the case, then that's outstanding. Yeah, because for the that price, price point of the one on one is 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 very good. Oh yes, yeah. it's, yeah. it's, it's gotta be. I don't know how this is. This how is, is this my happening? <laughs> how is this happening right now, man? I've got oh, six bottles goodness. of one on one just just waiting. Check yourself, right. Derek. I just. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, always, I keep it on hand, dude. I never run out. I feel like I don't even like, know you anymore. It's like no, water. I, I think you, I think you guys Twilight are, Zone. What's happening? What are we? Yeah, what are we doing? Oh, no, I think you guys are coming. I mean, because, because 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 I I drink mainly Old Forester a uh, product. I only venture out for experimental purposes. I found uh, my girlfriend. And so everyone else is just a side piece. So as we go, gotcha, gotcha. I just, all right, all I right. just experiment with other things. That's how I end up with four gate peri peri. Not because I'm a four gate fan. I just found it, and I was like, "Hmm, my yeah. wife is not here. She can't scream <laughs> at me. Uh, I can buy it and just disappear." And I actually kind of like this. So, what'd you think, Sean? Of the Jepsons? Is it comparable? Are they like mono and uh, mono? Are they two different things? I mean, so I can't really say because I haven't had a Magnus in six, eight months. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's hard to say just kind of off, you know, uh, memory. But I will say this Jepsons is fantastic. Uh, absolutely, absolutely worth every dollar of that $70 price point. Yeah. Derek, uh, send send me your address, dude. I, <laughs> yeah, in, in case you, dude. in case you need some, yeah, dude. <laughs> man, and you got the old bottles too. Yeah, oh. got, this is why I stock up on the old bottles, man. It's got on your, a little on bit your better. Screen, was that Randy Savage? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! No, 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 they no. get this wild turkey, brother. No, when you when you turn this camera off, when you turn this camera off, I saw a picture. I was like, that, "That's a dude from my childhood. That's a dude yeah. from my childhood." And I was that's like, "Who is that?" And it took me a second or two. I was like, "And when I was a kid, that was a dude named Randy." Oh, what's up, brother? Hey, Shred, say, say, snap into a Slim Jim. 
<laughs> Snap oh. into a fucking turkey, brother. Oh, yeah, slap into a wild turkey. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get into uh, it. Snap into a turkey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> what you sipping on, Joe? Uh, the uh, pipe ring, cast cast ring pipe ring. Oh, nice. Dude. Oh man. Yo, I, I almost it. bought the, ca- the cast ring. I like it. Drink low monarch. I like that. The, the past weekend, and I, I would do reviews of it, and I'm like. My, my, I'm my, my, my information is in the private chat if you're serious. Uh, but keep in mind, you can actually Google my ass and find my fucking house. Uh, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I, I, don't know, I don't know if you should throw that information out there. But uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't care. Here's here's my take on that. Are, are you are you well equipped to, uh, you know, handle handle those situations, Derek? I don't, I'm trying to word this in a way that YouTube no, doesn't. You know. No, 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 Sean. I, here's the deal. Why would That's anyone want to even come by my house? I live in the ghetto. I'm just saying, you know. I, uh, and I love should, the ghetto. Should someone come and by I your love house? It, and I love it because I live in the only quiet block in the ghetto. And if you don't believe me, you know, ask Paul. And I will tell you this, Paul. Me and my wife cleaned up the whole first floor. And you only dropped off the bottle and left. And my wife was like, he didn't I had in. a car full of white people who were scared that we were in the ghetto. <laughs> I'll give you that. It happens. But I will say, I, I, I will, I'll give you that. But I will say, shit, I was, I wanted, shit, I wanted you to come in. I was like, I, well, and well, next time, like I said, I only, I met Tim Evans right out, right off on a road, right off of a uh, soldier field just to pass him off a bottle. That's just, how tied up I was that day. We made him at a rest stop. You know what happens at rest stops? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't know. You know what you shouldn't right? say, but. Uh... <laughs> no, I hear you, but where, where he just described, uh, that the only thing over there was a gas station and a parking lot. But I will say. Um, similar. Uh, yeah, similar. We, that stuff. we cleaned up our house just for you. I was like, I told my wife, I was like, one of the whiskey. This is how I talk with my wife. One of the whiskey boys are coming by. She was like, "You mean those fellows you get drunk with on the?" <laughs> and I was like, "Way to kill it!" And I was like, "I didn't get. I don't get drunk with them." And she looked at me and she shook her head. And then, and then she goes, "What do you want me to do?" I was like, "Well, shit. Let's make this living room almost look like we're, you know, civilized people." And so. <laughs> Hey Derek, now, now now that you dropped your address in private, I think I'm gonna just leave the stream and drive right now to your house to get you a bottle of Wild Turkey 101. This has to stop. Well, I mean, uh, no, 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 Sean, no, Sean. Wild Turkey 101 is readily available. I just, I, I know, man. I'm I just, just never picked it up. And pick it up. you guys have hazed me, I will get one. That we this hazed you. This in next fairness Friday. to Derek. In fairness to Derek. I didn't try Wild Turkey 101 until I was probably four years into my into my journey. I, I yeah. didn't try any Wild Turkey, period. I can't tell what that was, much, what yeah. friends, I always what? avoided because for some reason I had associated Wild Turkey with like a bottom shelf Mid-South. hobo hooch, you know, cheap food. <laughs> Mid-South. I blame that Punisher movie. Oh, that's that's God. the truth right there, baller. <laughs> like that Punisher so. movie where he was drinking that, where he had that giant glass one seven five hand handled jug of wild turkey. And I'm like, that must be garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you guys this. I'll tell you how I how I actually started even with rare breed. One of my one of my buddies, I, I've known him for a second. for thirty some years, <clears throat> is a wild turkey fan. And I never tried wild turkey. The first wild turkey I tried was rare breed. And I, I tasted it. I was like, yeah. I was like, well, goddamn. So every party that Rich uh, hosts, I bring a bottle of rare breed with me. And that's that's what I've been doing. And that is the only uh, oh, um, wild turkey product I've tried. Today happened to be funny because I could fit this under my budget, and I was like, I'm going to try it out. Something new. Hell yeah. But, 
So when you when you say that, are you saying you haven't had any Russell's reserve or anything like that either? Oh, okay. Yeah, you you're right. You okay, thank you. Um the Russell Reserve with the blue label that everyone was oh, on over. With the blue label. Hold on. I, that's the third you know that one. That's the third I have I have not tried that. Okay, uh, okay. You want a lot of the red the but, red label though. No, no, but but the um the, the two other Russell Reserves, one of them drinks like water, and I promised yeah. myself I'll never buy it again. And the other one is, hold up, hold up, Jim got it. That guy Jim has, I will take. So you got to get that private barrel. No, no so this is the this Yeah, is the that's one the one, one right there. That that's one's the one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You got to yeah. get the, the real red label, man. Yeah, yeah that I'm one's like delicious. It. Yeah, I got that one. I put that one up on a shelf so I don't, don't drink through it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is, is crazy. So I've it. had, I've, I, by the way, I've had both of those. By the way, um, um, but I have not had the one with the blue label. No, that, that, that one's really hard to come by, man. Yeah, show show them what it looks like, Joe. Yeah, we don't oh, yeah. yeah, I know he is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shred's got it too. I got it too, oh, man. Dude. Oh, you bet. Shred, you Shred, he's going to have four oh, whiskey dude. that he leads on. Yeah. yeah. I know. Dude. I oh, know that's, nice. do, man. that's nice. That's nice. Fucking chill. Man, look on. at that. We got we got Russell's 26 on the screen. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, That's the baller chug right chug. there. That oh, is, oh, yeah. He only sips that, y'all. Dude, you guys, man. Good stuff, man. Woo. So, I have oh, not there had. We go. There we go. I have not had that. Joe's breaking out some stuff. Oh, you can get the shit. That purple purple. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect you know, track, dude. Uh, some of these might be in the top ten tomorrow that yeah, we're gonna blind myself and Toshi Baker. For those of you who don't know who Toshi Baker is, I don't know. Really who awesome is. person so, in the Baker community. In the chat. Man, he he donates so much of his time and money to to like various charities. I think he bought a bottle from. Um, I think it was uh, Adriana's uh, charity where. The uh, Alzheimer's one, I think it for a, a Nancy Fraley bottle, and it was like yeah. seventeen hundred dollars. Oh wow, man! Wow, yeah, because it was a it was yeah. a bid type thing, I man. think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he bid set like seventeen or something like that hundred dollars. It, it was a crazy Ooh, amount, but that, man, man, that guy that's is awesome, just crazy dude. cool. And now that I got that's you awesome. solo, Joe, I'm digging that shirt. That's cool, man. That is a cool shirt, dude. Okay. I want I want all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, so where it's only during uh, you know the Day of the Dead type shit, but. Let's I want all of you guys to know if I did seventeen hundred dollars or something, I would be in family counseling the very next month. I see you got that Gatsby there at Old Joe. Good stuff, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Have you tasted it? I have oh, not. Dude. No, I mean because you know, due to it being very rare. <laughs> <laughs> well, not because it's rare, it's because it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, that, that also Bo both of those things. Yes, yeah. the rare and the expensive part. Both of those. I, I, yeah, hey, Joe. I passed on that for two fifty the other day. I couldn't do hey, it, man. Hey, Joe, do you do any uh, shipping to people? Uh, for those that are my Patreon, yeah. <laughs> How about a song, bitch, that's reasonably nice to you? <laughs> <laughs> Promise not to cuss you out. <laughs> I mean, if you're willing, if you're willing to ship to a song, bitch, that's reasonably nice to you. Uh, that thing by your. Well, I mean, that's that's actually more than I can say for my wife. Yeah. I ain't going there. I ain't going. I'm there. telling you. I'm telling you. I don't there. even know her, but I like her, so I'm not going there with you. But it's rare here. that she's reasonably nice to me. We're both married to Spanish women, so you know <laughs> it, 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 it has its hey. ups and downs. She's probably going to come here. down here right now. But and, uh, here, bro. Same right. In right the here, armpit, bro. in your left armpit. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know what, dude, we're all, hey. We're all hey your left round pit. Uh, the chancla is coming me, right now. Send me one of those bottles, <laughs> and I will, I promise you, baby, I'm good for the cash. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry, Derek. I'm saying there's a bottle in your left armpit. Uh, can you send me one of those, and uh, I'm good for the cash. Oh, you talking about that uh, Redwood, right? Yes. Oh, that's a cast drink right there. Oh yeah, I mean, Ooh. are they still around? Hard to find. 
So, I, I mean, I, if I find one, Derek, I, I'll let you know. But I, you I, know, see, I, mean, I see him in my, my area. There's a, there's a man the I know. I rarely, go, I rarely go and find and buy, like, backups. Because, That's fair. That's fair, you know, sir. A lot That's of things fair. are expensive when you want to buy multiple. There's a, there's there's a, a variety of shit, you know. <laughs> there's, there's a man I know uh, who I, uh, I, I, I fucked up his ethnicity. And no one yeah, will let me live that down. No. Uh, he claims that in California, <laughs> that's readily yeah, available. Man. And I know uh, your beer that. ass is in California. So, uh, no, I mean, so no, I, 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 was, I, I was on the website day of, Derek, and those things sold out pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah, Never they, mind. They the same day. I got lucky when I got mine. I, okay. I, I woke up and saw the saw the post and I, and I bought them. And they sold out that day, so well, I don't, I I don't know where your know. friend tells you that they're at. But I, I if I see one, I, I I seriously uh, text you. I got I your number. I tell you what, uh, yeah, stop that shit, uh, Joe. Can, dude. Yeah, uh, if you see one, buy it. I am good for the cash. That's well, I heard I that story about how you were what? waiting to send some stuff, and then your one wife bottle. made you feel guilty to send some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one bottle, baby. Hey, one bottle. <laughs> right here. I, hey. I, live th- I live 30 miles from where Redwood Empire is located. I live in the there same you know. county. And I, I, I recently saw it for $89 just sitting on the shelf. But when I went into the same store today, it was, it was all waxed out, man. So... Oh, I think yeah. people, but I I can I can Call usually on. see it for around a hundred from where where I'm at because it's oh, it's from this area. That's that's a, that's a reasonable price for yeah. That's not bad. That well, well, Derek, you, you use private. Drop you drop your drop your numbers there for Shred, and uh, maybe you guys can work some out. Shred, look here. I, my yeah. address is here. Uh, yeah, but mid, you want my uh, one two address? three um, mid what mid South Street. All right, got it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the big dicks. Uh, <laughs> you, you guys, you guys are messed up. In most he lives in big big county. <laughs> and, and, um, and by the way, I suggest any of you bastards uh, who want to call me, you should trust me first. Um, two. Yeah, you should just address it to Big Dick Mid South. That's all you. That's all they, they'll know. They'll know where it's going. <laughs> yeah, let's see where it ends up. Oh, Kurt, dude, Kurt. Yeah, Joe's got all the goods. Man. Most everywhere. Yeah, man. Damn, Joe, you got oh, you got you to come out. Pop. That was a pop Joe, right there. Everything dude. you need to know about me is right there. If you ever want to come visit, uh, this, this, because, this is because of whiskey food, dude. Awesome. Hell yeah, man. My house is clean. My brother right oh, there. Right. Dude, boom, boom. Twice removed. Kirk. I was so old Kirk. Damn. You know, I, I feel like we need to have an old old, old Kirk sipping uh thing. Oh shit. Uh-oh. 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 That Uh-oh. didn't sound good. <laughs> All right, Joe. I think you give me a charge for the next 10 minutes or so. Hold All right. On. So I, I think so, we're gonna have so Joe. Paul just, it, it wasn't Joe. the old Kirk this time. That's a bad spot for bottles over there. It's this Is that the second time? What did you this break time, now? This time I was grabbing the old Kirk and my uh my port finished Sagamore dropped. Oh, oh no. it didn't break, did it? Yes, it's good. It broke. It's good. You know, we're, we're all good. We're all good. It, oh, it's fine. Man. This, this is a hefty, broke. This is a hefty I, bottle. I heard him. I heard him. I heard him. That's a sturdy yeah. gal right there. Yeah, Jay. I, 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 I was scared for a second, though. I was scared. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, go get a, I'll go get my old Kirk really quick. It uh it hit my saffle, which honestly well, I wouldn't care about. But uh, <laughs> hey, you don't let don't let it hit your saffle, bro. Dude, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're not a fan of it, you're not a fan of it. This, this bottle yeah, is gonna be like saffle, dis- this. This is gonna be like disappointments of this year. Really? Uh, oh man! I, oh, dude, send it my way, man. I'll fucking you send just me like, like it three that of much? those. I'll, no, no, I'll no. Okay, the, so I'll, here, here, here's here's one of those one on ones. Yeah, I yeah. I, I, honestly, 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 I would trade. I would trade for an old one on one. I would straight up trade oh, for that, man. dude. I fucking, I get that for eighteen bucks right down the street. Shit. Uh, the the old the old bottle. Yeah, man. They got they still got this shit. That's why it's stocked up, man. Yeah. Just oh, sitting on the yeah. shelf for eighteen bucks. The, the, the old yeah. bottles are gone in Kentucky. You don't you oh, don't see man. them. You gotta, hey, yeah, you, I, can I get... grabbed them while I could, man. I must have bought like, a case of them by now, man. Yeah, I can I still get through, the like, old, old Maker's Forty Six bottle too. Really? Three different three different places. I can see the old Maker's Forty Six still. 
Those, those things were fantastic. Not yeah. anymore, though. The new bottle, screw that yeah. bottle. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, so, he, he, so it says batch one, but I'm almost certain that batch one is BS because this cannot be the bottle that everybody raved about. There's no way. Like, I've what, tried way too much what's whiskey. The bottle, what's the barrel number? I think they all say batch one. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Here. Oh, shit, huh? Yeah, I... Dude, I, need, I, don't, a, I don't even have my staff. I think I got that. The bottle there, there's a shelf. there's a barrel number on here. Yeah, barrel number uh, six minus sixty eight forty. Probably the same as uh, whiskey food. Uh, what where where are you seeing this at, Joe? Right underneath where it says single barrel. barrel. Right right on the picture, you see uh, whiskey food dude has it up under the word single. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think John's looking at WB Sapple. Yeah, W. B. Saffle. Yeah, uh, well, not, see, not, to be not fair, he hasn't been single in so long, you know. You know <laughs> well, there's there's it's that hard too. to recognize that word. You know, so I, I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about I, I'm talking about the Saffle right oh, now. Oh, you're talking about Saffle. Uh, um, yeah. So, like, I I don't know. Like this, like I was I was so happy because I got it at retail and I was like so excited. Get it home pop it open and actually didn't even make it home for being honest. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, pop it open. And I mean, it's fine, but it's a hundred. I mean, it's a hundred dollar bottle. That's, that's what it actually is. It's 50 for a three, seven, five, which is a hundred dollar seven fifty, Right. So I guess that's one way to look at it. What's that? What's that Jim? I said, I guess that's one way to look at it. I mean, it is. So I mean, this is a, an actual bottle. This is a half a bottle. True. So uh, this, this, this is my first buy of 2023. Yeah, that's uh, uh, one. Is probably you, Joe. The Angel Store pick. Yeah, it's a Angel's Envy Store pick uh, from uh, El Cerritos. Oh, nice. dude, they have great look how taste, dark dude. that looks, man. Are those cast strength? Yeah. Nice. Dude. Oh, it's good, man. Mm. Those store was it about between like 107 to 111 proof, right in there, right in that range. It is but anyway, screw the saffle. Let's let's get some old Kirk in the glass here. And, uh, 110. Oh, 110 is 100. their perfect proof for Angels Envy, dude. Oh, that's a great yeah. for Angels. Man, I, I put that saffle against my dude. Uh, Thank you, man. Yeah, cheers, I, I had a store pick of Russell. I had a Russell's 13, and I had uh, a saffle. I'm getting low. I put that in I'm a, like I put that in a blind, dude. You're, You're saying you didn't favorite. like it, uh, whiskey, no. uh, Sean? What's yeah. that? Saffle? It's, uh, this old Kirk. No, 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 no. The old Kirk is fantastic. Saffle came in number two for my blind, though, right behind the thirteen, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I did a blind. I had like rare breed. I had a Russell's store pick, regular Russell's. This guy right here, and the thirteen and the Saffle. Did a five way blind, you know. Man, I like I, re Saffle, I really Saffle. feel like I got a bad Number one or two, something. Man. I don't know. I don't. I, I love that shit, man. You feel like you got a bad what? Saffle. Oh, Saffle. I don't know. I, I like it too. It's really good. Are they are Saffle single barrels? I don't think um, so. It doesn't say that anywhere on. I here. think they're blends. Are they? Yeah, they're. I think they, yeah, they are probably blends. They're overpriced. I'll tell you that for a little bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I, I just I can't see how this is the same batch the that everybody batch. was like. Yeah, I, I can't I can't see how this is the same batch that everybody was crazy about last year. But JH was saying in the chat, and I think he's right. Is the whole thing with the staff was it was part, it was part of this this uh, whiskey baron baron series. The staff was the first release. The second the the second release was the Bond and Lillard, which everyone seems to have panned up and down. And the third release is the one nobody can find, which is Old Rippy. Oh shit, old Rippy. But I mean, well, I, I guess what I'm curious about is how am I still getting batch one when that was released last year, like early last year? Like that doesn't make any sense to me. Be because they saved on this bottle size, <laughs> they have enough. Yeah, I, I guess. But I mean, well, the uh, the sample, I think the sample originally dropped in 2017, and I think it just sat on shelves with no one knew what the fuck it was. And, you know, I'll be perfectly honest, I have a bottle of Saffle. I think it's pretty good. Actually, we tried to get a backup of it in the store that had it. That had it supposedly had, had had one more. And I mean, by the time I got back. For, for those that want Saffle, but, I can – there's three available at my I local store. I would go out of my way to get another one. <laughs> no shit. How much are they going for? 50. 
50 yeah. and change. I'll send you two of these, sir. <laughs> deal, deal, done. Right. Well, shake on it. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Yeah, yeah no, I, you I don't see Saffel Shredder. What's that? You don't see Sha uh, Go to Total. It's there. No, I, I, I mean, Total is like really far south of where I'm at. Maybe a couple hours. Um, I oh, have to wow. go deep into the Bay Area to find that shit. But I ordered the first. It was batch number one Saffel. I ordered it online. I think I got it from like wine something. I don't know. Anyway, I paid about sixty bucks for that three seventy five. But I Ooh. I thought it was fantastic, man. Yeah, it's oh, it's good oh. stuff. Dude, this old Kirk though, man. Oh yes, yeah, the, the old Kirk. Kirk. When I first tasted it, I think I had I was tired and I had I was still exuding the fumes and alcohol flavors of the night before. Gotcha. Uh, when I was over there at, at Paul's house. And when I taste it, I'm like, man, it, it, it has, it, I can't get any of the, the, uh, the Willet in it. Cause I normally, I, I like Willet and I drink a lot of it. And uh, I was just thinking, man, I can't get any Willet, but even tasting it now and then tasting it later as it set and, and opened up, man. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that is very nice. The, this bottle is like one of the bottles that stands out for me the most. It's like the longer it sets, the the better it is. Like when I first opened this bottle, I I was like, man, it's good, but it, there was a lot of heat to it and not a lot of flavor. And now that it's, I think this is like the third old Kirk that I've gotten that I've opened, and yeah. uh, and it. Now that it's sat for a while, it's like, man, this is really good. I yeah. still need to compare it to the Willet Purple Top. I still haven't done a little side by side <laughs> comparison, but because this friggin' Willet Purple Top just blows me away. You know? Yeah, it's it's awesome. And uh, but I know I know like Shane from Story Time Distillery said he had he had did the blind with the Willet Purple Top and the Old Kirk, and he said the Old Kirk won it. Yeah. Uh, it being younger, uh, six years, because uh, I think they did a nine-year purple top. So, hey, hey Paul, uh, just curious: are do you have the same old Kirk? Is the one that you brought, or is it is the one you have a different one? No, it's the same one. Okay, so that that sixty-eight forty. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah, man, this thing is damn. It's a banger. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, that's right. I need an axe. I need an axe right now. That's yeah, good. Yeah, start chopping some shit, man. <coughs> now, and honestly, uh, just like Paul's assessment, like this thing has just gotten better the farther down it gets. Like some yeah. models get weird near the end, but this is, ah, uh, it's fantastic. Staying strong. Yeah. Strong like blue. <laughs> For sure, man. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't opened your bottle that you gave me, uh, Joe, because I'm I'm actually waiting. To like go out camping and hit a campfire and, and get with the bottle because he got me a high west campfire, and uh, but I haven't opened it yet because I want to sit by a campfire and actually enjoy it, kind of pick up on the smokiness and everything. So I'm going to do some camping later on this year. So yeah, that's, I'm look forward to it. That, that's a that's a cool bottle. Like if you like peated whiskey, that's that's a cool bottle. Like yeah. it's not for everybody, but. I, I really like the campfire. Oh, yeah, I like Lagavulin and, and Ardbeg, you know, so that's that's why I did, you know, something that has a little bit of a peatiness to it. Yeah, man. I've been curious about the campfire. That's good. I mean, if you like peated whiskey, oh, yeah. then yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. well, I think, I, Joe, didn't you say did, you had the first campfire? Did you do a review of the first campfire compared to the second? Second one. No, so, um, I, I I bought two of those. I and I brought you one. Okay. Because I had seen it on the way out out there, and uh, when I was driving out there, so. somebody had did a review of the old campfire compared to the new one. They said the old right. one, it wasn't as good. Like the new one was a little bit more well balanced, where the old one was just kind of all over the place, and it, that peatiness kind of took over. So they said the second one would, you know, they kind of worked out the kinks of it and kind of made it a little bit better. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to trying it. So, 
this is a dangerous reach right here, but uh, all right. So I have batch 16L21, whatever the hell that means. Um, got this a couple of years ago. It's good stuff, though. No. Okay. And that's is that the campfire, too? Yeah, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> come on, camera. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wow, dude. Gotta go, it's fellas. Oh. Have a good night, Bobby. Right, Bobby. Here's Bobby. Good, good work, man. Hey. Thanks, brother. Hey, Bobby. Take care, man. So, so Joe, so did, did Paul, you gave him the same bottle as well, then? So, are, are we all drinking the 16, uh, 6840? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Uh, prescription bourbon and bourbon also have the same bottle. So, they sweet. Uh, spread the old Kirk around. Heck yeah, man. <clears throat> Damn, I wish I could find that shit out I'm here. I'm drinking this. That's, yeah, a good, that's a good one that's getting harder to find. I've only got the one, man. That's the old one, too, man. Yeah, that I is. won this nice. almost two years well, ago. Yeah, that's the handwritten. Yeah. A, yeah, a, wow. yeah, that's before yeah. They, they batched it. A, a Whiskey Central. It was a Whiskey Central Scotch Cooper giveaway, and ADHD Whiskey put this up, and I won it. This is a fantastic pour. What a great Fuck, bottle. Dude, I, I wish I had tried that before they started batching that. Yeah, the batch one is it's it's all right. It's I mean cool. it's all right, yeah. Batch 2008 or 2008. I don't know. He's got a hype in there, so yeah. Bottle yeah. four twenty eight or sixty eight, rather, my bet. Cool. Great four. Hell yeah, dude. It, it really it really is a shame. What I'm green you, did hard bag. Yes. Because oh, yeah. they dumped yeah. this, which actually yeah. had transparency, and now they're doing the Green River stuff, and I refuse to buy any, any of the Nelson, Bro the Nelson Brothers stuff. And I won't oh, buy it because man. there's zero transparency. They don't tell you where the source are from. It's like, why, why are we going to buy it? Fuck off. Dude, <laughs> yep. Gordon, exactly. Gordon Murphy, I think you know how I feel about hard bag, man. Take Tastes like a fucking ball hair sandwich by the ocean, dude. Oh, gee. <laughs> wait, oh, wait a wait a damn second there, Shrew. Oh, well, God damn. Dude, I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull any punches with Ardbeg, man. I mean, so so to me to me uh, there shred. I, I felt like you'd be on board with it because like Ardbeg is like no. the death metal. It's like the death no. metal of God. whiskey. Um, like the ball hair sandwich of whiskey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There we have it. Terrible. Terrible. There we have it. No, it's, it's, it's like as like extreme it, as you can get. The only so heavy. That, I, I wrote a review on someone's channel. I said it, it tastes like you're at the ocean and there's a bonfire, right? And then yep. somebody shaved their balls and <laughs> threw it into the fire. And all that smoke went into your mouth. Oh. Burning ball hair. I yeah, love it. It was like bur like burning ball hair. <laughs> From the ocean sea breeze into your mouth, dude. So, so it's salty burning ball hair. So, yeah, exactly, oh. dude. Exactly. <laughs> what is salty burning ball hair? Ardbeg, apparently. All day, man. Oh, yeah. The regular ass 10 year Ardbeg. <laughs> dude, that, that is, that is uh, that. like literally. It's terrible, man. I can't do it. Man. I just. I, I have it. extreme love for Ardbeg 10 and Oogie and really the whole line. <sighs> Uh, no, dude. I, I, yeah, uh, I'll send you a sample of this so you can frown yeah, on it. Hey, dude. I, I, <laughs> hey, I, I've only had the 10. That's all I've had. And that, if the there's anything better ever. than that, you know, yeah. like, No, that the, the no 10 is bed, pretty much the hey, universally hey, loved. Hey, hey, based hey, on the uh, 10. Hey, um, everyone. Um, uh, <laughs> on, um, yes. I'm about to come up missing, sir. Um, Paul. Um, okay. Tim. Uh, Joe and this young man I recognize. I don't know his name. Uh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the Shred Master, man. Shred, uh, hey. you, guys, you guys be good. Yeah. Hey, Derek, uh, have a good one, man. I appreciate you hopping on. All right. See you, brother. You, you guys heard it, bro. I'm going to be 43 in two weeks. He called me a young man. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Don't let so anyone tell you that. Yeah, there you go. Time for a pour of Ardbeg Oogadol. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> More like Ooga uh, balls, dude. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, you haven't tried it. So, like, I think Ugi. I mean, Bur- Bourbon Baller Lee's got my back, dude. He's got my back. Dude. He knows what's up. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Sean, did you say you were going to get Long more point. into scotch Long this point, year? Dude. Uh, I, I always think that, and then I realize how much bourbon I need to buy, and then I don't do that. So, um. oh shit! Look who's look who's chiming in. We got Cam in there, dude. He knows what's up. We got Cam in here. Yeah, Ken, dude. Scotch down under. Oh, Ken! I thought you said Cam. E- even better, we got Ken, <laughs> the, the Godfather of the pub stream. Hell yeah! The how Godfather doing, of ball hair sandwiches. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so first off, Ken, <laughs> I I know I know that Ken loves Ardbeg. So oh, yeah, yeah, he does. Oh yeah, fuck. Are you kidding me, man? He's a, yeah, <laughs> down under. They know oh, they yeah. do it different down under, man. Yeah, cheers, Ken. Yes, I feel cheers like that's you, almost man. what she said or something. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, you see, I, I'm with you. I, so. Like I, I love peated scotch, but Lafroy can burn in hell. Uh, screw that whiskey. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just I can't get on the, the Lafroy train or whatever the thing is. Can't do it. Well, she we're off to if that's what our thing needs for ingredients. I am nice, Gordon Murphy. Hell yeah! Hey, hey. Just send One all your Ard, miles, send all your ball hair to Ardbeg so we can ha- keep having delicious whiskey. They, that's what they Cheers. they use that instead of Pete. Actually, I don't know if you guys knew that. I mean, so I mean, it re- it literally is just like burnt plants. So it's not, you know, it's not, not super exciting. <laughs> exactly, Ogadol is smoky barbecue bacon. So, like, I always think of the ten year as like um, I always think of smoked salmon, which I love smoked salmon. So, no, nah, not not your thing. Okay, I, I'm not. I don't like it. if it doesn't walk on the land. I'm not going to put it in my mouth. That's no, I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking about like so, like smoked salmon has that like kind of caramelized glaze on it. You know, it's just that it's like a bark to it. The, it's good stuff. Yeah. You don't like lobster uh, shredder? No, I'm not. I mean, I can you know if it's deep fried, I can get down on it seafood style, but. uh not a fan of seafood besides that. Man. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I, I only dabble in seafood, but like smoked salmon is one of those things where it's pretty damn good. So hey, usually right, it's uh, right. Mountain oysters, they, they walk on the land. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get balls deep into that platter. <laughs> um, I'll, put some, I'll put some Rocky mountain oysters in my mouth, man. Nice. As long as you cook them, the, cook them the right way, dude. Oh yeah. yeah I'm down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> are, are you from California, Shred? Yes, sir. Yeah, you just a and little bit north. Rocky though. Mountain oysters. No, Rocky Mountains pretty far east of where I'm at, but uh, I, I never have. No, I've had some uh, NorCal oysters though. Uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's a there different you go. thing. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'm switching between glasses here, Mr. Great Shot, but that's what's in, that's what's in this glass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gordon Murphy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's fucking classic. <laughs> so, uh, Mark, uh, Great Shot, another bottle that I need to somehow get from you. Dude, this this balcony single malt uh, peated, fantastic. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, that's not what the shit I'm drink. I'm too drunk to read this label. Um, still Austin straight rye is what I'm drinking. I'm sorry, folks, that was terrible information. I was Hold just giving. Hold on you. a minute, Austin fucking rye, man. Yeah, and, and apparently there's a uh, cast strength coming, which is gonna freaking kill. Because th- this is so, this is ninety nine point six proof, and at cast strength, this will kill all other rise. What are we talking about? Still Austin, uh, oh, straight rye. That one yet? 
Better than Jack what, Daniels. What uh, proof is that? Release? Still so awesome. it, it's it's ninety nine point six, but man, the the power on this is just very like the. I'm, I'm trying to think what to compare it to. Um, there's not there's not a whole lot of things on the market that are similar. Like this is kind of its own thing. It's a, there's like there's 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 parts of it that are somewhat like MGP, but then there's other notes that are nothing like MGP. So it's it's darker than in like most MGPs I've had, and this is young, you know, because it's I don't I don't know what the age is. Uh, Mark, you, you know, you you got the you got the bottle. Hey, would you, Sean? Would would you say still Austin is probably like the way to go if you're trying to dip your toes into Texas whiskey? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, like so, what? Just the standard still Austin cast strength. I don't think there's a better. Better. I'm sorry. Words are getting pretty hard. Uh, I don't think there's a better fifty dollar bottle on the market. Like That's hands sorry. down. Like Scotch. Any any anywhere uh, in the whiskey world. Still Austin Cast Ranked is a killer bottle. Like that bottle just slays everything in the fifty dollar. Like even Rare Breed would have a hard time competing with Still Austin Cast Ranked. Like that no bottle. Shit, is, all right. It, it's better than any bottle that I'm going to show tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that, Joe. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm saying the fifty dollar price range, and not most of those bottles in front of you are not in that price range. <laughs> I, I wouldn't spend more than 40 bucks on any bottle. Exactly. Why would you? Um, <laughs> the only uh, Balconis that I've had was the Baby Blue, and I, I thought that Wrong was just, baller. Ah, uh, ah, uh, terrible, man. So uh, the Baby Blue is not great. I'll, I'll give you that. It, it's <laughs> it's okay. It's not um, – I think the, the single malt is where Balconis really shine. Um now, granted, it's not you know it's a different profile than bourbon, but if you if you get into American single malts, Balconist is a fantastic American single malt. Yeah, this this cast drinks right here is killer. Uh, yeah, check them out. Yeah, there you go. Can't wait for the uh, cast drink still Austin Rye. <clears throat> that bottle is gonna just kill. It's just gonna it's gonna take over like i i can't wait for their distribution to open up still austin with with nancy behind the helm yeah, no, yeah dude. all right no that i can get down on because i know the nose knows what's up hell yeah so i have a so i have a no standard knows. i i have two standard still austin cast drinks then i have a total wine pick that i got from uh come dante lou which is great and then i have a nancy fraley uh still austin cast drink pick and that, that that's the one that made it into my whiskeys of the year. That that Nancy Fraley pick. So it's like the best of her own stuff. Yeah, that's that bottle was ridiculous good. There you go. Hell yeah. Joe knows what's up. Yeah. If you want to shoot me a sample of one of those, Sean. I'm not gonna okay. be uh Yeah, man, we need we we've been talking about it. I, we need oh, to do yeah, a dude, I'll, I'll yeah. send you some shit. You send me some shit. Just send me all your C920. That's all I need. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's see here. I'm definitely going to get two or three bottles of that Castrix rye when it comes out for sure, Mark. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, this is fan. Like, even at right under 100 proof, this is a great rye. Mr. Great Shot's going to still Austin tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Hey, Mark, um, can you pick me up a bottle of this? <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, Venmo, PayPal, whatever the whatever the case. Is. I think I think uh, me and Mark are gonna get, are, are gonna date uh, go on a date to uh, the Bastards Ball this year. If, if that's still good, there, Mister Great Shot. There you go. Yeah, nice, dude. <laughs> I guess if I never had whiskey, you know what, baller, you're such a bougie bitch. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> come on, come on, baller. I, I feel like you have not given Balcones a fair shake. Like 
I, try you know, try the single moment. Go ahead. I, I know, I know, I know you can find it. I know you have the connection. So find the single malt, and then like a pick, not like the standard single malt, like a a pick like this. And then, if you don't like it, then then okay, fine. Um, How does that single malt compare to like the uh, JD Triple Mash? Uh, this is far superior. The, I, I don't like the Triple Mash much at all. I, it's it's fine like i i don't hate it but it's it's just kind of there um yeah yeah this this is amazing though like totally not the same profile at all so even the this one the one is baller's uh picture right now actually let's let's bring him back up here so that's his picture right there there's oh, the shit. I'll, I'll try and copy the, the oh, picture was that the twice barreled yeah, so <laughs> I, in my opinion, this is better than this. Yeah, you're probably oh, crazy. Shit. Are you I know you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I don't like, know, so he, here's the thing. Like this is this is fine if you're after a bourbon profile. Because that's oh, what Jim it drinks. Just like. took it, off. It, he can't handle this shit. Yeah, so this drinks like a bourbon. It it, it doesn't drink like an American single malt. Um, I mean, it, it's it's cool. Like I, I like it, but it's like if, if you've had several American single malts, then you know that this is not really. I've had a couple. It it doesn't really have those notes. <laughs> it it drinks much more like a bourbon than it does an American single malt. So, I mean, for for that, it's it's great. Um, I just I was and, and that's kind of weird when it's a hundred percent malt. Mm. Yeah, so I like the the notes that so, Jack so got. Say, it tastes like bourbon, but it's a hundred percent malt. That's just kind of weird. <laughs> like, it's 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 weird to me that Jack got this profile out of American single malt. Like I, I don't know how they manage that. It's yeah. probably the, it's probably the charcoal, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> which uh, oh, Shane's. Is Shane, well, remember uh, that's uh, finished in, in cherry barrels. So, yeah, it is finished too. So, yeah, but uh, I mean, I just want to say, I, I I just had these two back to back. What's up, Mark? Hey, oh, yeah. that pick will blow that out of the water every time. No, 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 <laughs> really. No. This this is the clear winner of this evening. Wow, I, there you I go. don't know. Like, is, I, is that batch two? Wrong. Is that batch two? No, no, no! It's batch one. The 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 thirteen is batch one. I I put this much of a dent in that liquor by the lakes pick. I I'm telling you, man, the thirteen shits all over that. I, I, but, but is that batch one for the thirteen, or is that batch two thirteen? Batch one. Batch one, man. I I, I didn't like batch one. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, I like batch two though. Batch two. <laughs> no, no, batch one of the thirteen. Like, I, I, don't get me wrong, Lord Schlong and the liquor by the lakes. This is the shit. You can no, tell man. I love this shit, but hmm. I think the thirteen is still superior, man. At the I end of the day, JH, I don't think so. I was just there Thursday and I got two bottles, and they didn't ask for my ID or anything like that or write nothing down, so. Oh, I shit. picked up a Nancy Fraley pick for uh, Todd, 21090, and then I, since they still had some of the, uh, uh, what was it, that new release, the uh, cognac finished, they had they still had a whole display of that right there. So I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and try that too. Sp it's okay. Speaking of Mark, oh, yeah? You, you yeah. got any uh, around you? Uh, the, the cash rank? Well, the, uh, the, the, the cognac. The cognac? It's in, yeah, I think I got it inside. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because I was curious to hear what you thought about it. Because uh, so we talked about it when it came out, and then we kind of were both like, "eh." And then, yeah, then you know, you, for one hundred twenty, so. I was like, yeah. eh, "I don't know if I want to get that." But then, you know, heck, it was there, so I'm like, "eh, might as well." Yeah. I'll give it a what shot. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I gotta give it a shot. But it was pretty. It's pretty good. I think it needs a little needs a little time to air it out just a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, Mark. I think you undersold the rye. I gotta say. Um, uh, 
That's a sneaky one. I'm keeping that one to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. That's some good stuff. I, I got a bottle of that when I went um, on a hunting trip and I picked up a bottle of that. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to give this a shot. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's a little less than a hundred proof, but you know, it's, it's still awesome. It should be pretty decent. And me and my buddy polished off the whole bottle in two days. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Needless to say, I had to get another bottle, and it's already gone. So when I go down to Still Austin tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bottle of that, and then I get a, get a bottle of the uh, Nancy Fraley pick for Andy because, you know, now yeah. Todd and Andy both want a bottle of it. So Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to become a very popular destination, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Well, it's nice because, like, it's only it's – like it's, it's seriously it's only, like, maybe 20 minutes from me. So it's easy for me to get get there and you know pick one up on you know traffic depending on traffic kind of thing, but still it's close. Hey Mark, then, how, uh, how how far is Balcones from you? Balcones? Well, that's Waco. Uh, I want to say like a couple hours, maybe hour and a oh, half, two okay. hours, yeah, I got probably a couple hours. So not not really convenient then. No. Um, um, Joe was talking bastards ball. That's that's another. You know, it's like twenty five minutes from me. To a crowded barrel distillery, because a bunch of their stuff that. too. So the the fancy has sent me this. This is a Balcone single malt, but it's finished in Hungarian oak. Oh, this thing yeah. is just ridiculous. Uh, that, that's my sample of the year. Just FYI, uh, spoiler. <laughs> um, yeah. So I like I, I rank my samples. Uh, well, most of them, like the ones that I thought would be hitters, which there was a lot. Uh, so it was a hard, hard thing to get through. But anyway, yeah. So that that sample of Balcony single malt from uh, finished in the Hungarian oak. Yeah, they got a it, bunch of different stuff. I mean, they're they're doing a lot of really good shit, and most of their stuff is like pot distilled, which yeah, you know, I really like. You know, it gives you that really nice mouthfeel and stuff to it. So viscous, so thick. I know, mm -hmm. I know, Joe hates that word, but. <laughs> Because that, because that, so it, we we actually do use it wrong. Joe, you want to explain how we use it wrong? Because you did a much better job than I could probably explain right now. Uh, well, when when I when I, th when I think viscous, I think you know because the the definition is like gunky, where it like um, it sticks to like moving parts. You know, I, I forgot well, now. Yeah. Now I can't think of the the actual definition because I've had a few, but. Yeah, but it's like gunky yeah. with with you Oily, know that, that clogs yeah. up you know moving parts. But I but for me you know if you're talking about viscous or talking about mouth coating or oily or you know just just an overall like experience and flavor, I, I don't know viscous to me just I, I, it's just one of those words that just like eh, you know it's like well I mean it because it doesn't. I don't know, but you know, you can say whatever you want. I mean, you describe it how you describe it. I just, for me, well, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a lot. The, re, the only reason I brought it up is because I feel like we need, probably need a better word to describe what we're saying. Uh, because, like, people use viscosity. No, I, think, I, I mean, it's it's so used. So, I mean, I don't want to say overly used, but overly yeah. used because you know, to describe, you know, like something that's that's really you know really coating your palate you know really mm -hmm. so i i don't know i mean i mean it's not wrong it's just it's just for me it's just i just don't i don't think of it where because i haven't had something where it's like in my teeth and gunky and it's just like like just like just like when they say you know you should, you should <laughs> chew your whiskey you know you're not actually chewing it you know uh to get to try to figure out the yeah. flavor yeah, they can. They can talk to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, dude. I'm just sitting who's paying attention there, but <laughs> David Carradine. No, David Carradine. On the other hand, didn't he die via audio radiation or something? Mm, he was... Which you know, on the fucked up scale, yeah, you're about breaking even. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm yeah. controlling you guys, dude. I know it's up. <laughs> Shred, that's why we love having you right there, man. Hey, man. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, yo. All hey, right. I have to be David Carradine. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Like, Good time, I, I've, I've never even, like, so it, it's hard for me to understand that kind of a person. Like, I've never, like, thought about, thought to myself, 
you know what would make this better? If I choked myself <laughs> out at the same time that I'm choking yeah. the other thing. Um, never thought yeah. about that. Oh, God. Yeah. I never thought, like, you know what would, that? that's what will really take this to the next level if I also hang myself while I'm doing this. Um, it's like choking two chickens, killing two birds at, with exactly. one stone. Yeah, there you go. You know. <laughs> choking two chickens with one Literally hand. Literally killing. Um. <laughs> oh, there you go, still living. That's a good, that's pretty good stuff too. The the Trey's hombres. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I get that one at uh, uh man, Twin Liquors, good. I think. <laughs> yeah. That you've and never I think, lived, uh, bro. <laughs> you've never lived. Uh, 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 really my thing. Um, right there. I, I was about to say a thing, but I'm not going to say that thing. So anyway, uh, all he's saying is that you should try almost everything one time, at least once. Oh yeah, twice if you thought you might have liked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say you want me to pick you up a bottle of that rye, then I guess. <laughs> Well, I, I will say it. so. To me, the combination uh, uh, back in the day uh, was uh, you pop some X, then you pop some some Coke, and then you pop some just a just a little bit of oxy to keep you you know at the right right level, and then you can just go for hours. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, <laughs> swiftly along. Take your word for it, man. Well, I mean, no, I don't. Never mind. I'm not going to get dark. Never mind. <laughs> So Mark, let's go, yeah, let's go on, super Jeff. dark. Let's have how dark can we get? No, because I was, <laughs> I mean, I don't know exactly how uh, Mr. Williams died. I, I thought maybe it was in the same manner or something like that. Mr. Who? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think he hung himself. Yeah. Mr. Who? Robin. But didn't they, didn't they find him without his clothes and all that crap? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, David Carradine. Yeah, yeah David Carradine. Yeah, that, that, that's Kill, that's kill and, uh, Bill, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking yeah, the Kung Fu uh, guy. Also, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Young Grasshopper. Yeah, so, yeah, that so, one. Yeah. So apparently, there's a lot of celebrities that like really x themselves out with uh, hanging, which is weird to me because like like there's better ways yeah. to do it. Um, but like so, so you got uh, Anthony Bourdain, Chris Cornell, mm -hmm. uh, Chester Bennington. Uh, yeah, but there's a difference between hanging yourself and hanging yourself while playing with your own prick. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're gonna yeah. kill yourself, you might as well bust a nut when you're you're about to go. I mean, there's no reason to not do it. Well, I you guess there's a there, fine dude. line between playing yourself. Whatever and blows your load. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> well, I guess that's something in this that conversation. Is wrong here's, point. here's my suicide note. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna go, like, you know what? You're not there to clean up the mess, so who cares? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Literally. Hey, that's a good point, man. Good point. I guess my wife would be the one be cleaning up. <laughs> exactly. <my laughs> and, and you don't. You, you're the you're not there that. anymore. You're you're just you know you're in some uh, plot of dirt somewhere. So who cares? It's whatever. Um, <laughs> right in the wave, dude. We're bringing this back around the whiskey. I figured out how to make this not suck. <laughs> <laughs> I, think we're making, I think we're making Jim uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> Just drink that Bell hey, Me first, and then pour this. It doesn't suck. Yeah. All right. So, what, what, what do we got? What do we got there, Jim? Let, let, let's let's do that. Let's circle back to. Uh, this is let's Kentucky circle Mass, jerk back to whiskey. Old um, straight <laughs> bourbon whiskey. This yeah. is a Trader Joe's private label bottle. Oh. Shit. And essentially, based on what I can tell, based on two a few things. Uh, one of which, if I can find it on the label, well, let me show you here, Jim. I'm being a bad host. Way down there, a little focus. Come you got to back up just a little bit. A yeah, smooth just, weeded just, bourbon. Okay. Then, if you look at the back, Lux Row, I'm almost positive that this is just private label Rebel. Come on, camera. Probably, probably. Yeah. Come on, Go come on, on, camera. Be a camera. Um, uh, and I cracked this on uh, this on my last live, and it was uh. Pretty shit. And yeah, just poured Bell Mead before it. And I was like, yeah, this isn't so bad. <laughs> there you go. But I was going to ask Mark if he's cracked all the samples I sent him yet. Oh, the ones that you sent me? Oh, yeah, they're all gone. Yeah. I think you liked them all then. <laughs> yes. So, that's, that's why good. I have a bottle of uh, Arbeg Ugadol uh, and uh, uh, a bottle of Lagavulin 16 now. So, uh, Mark, Mark, I sent, I sent so, him a, a sample of that. The 16. 
uh, Mark, speaking of, uh, my sand walls are sp supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, so I, I know uh, ECBPs and larcenies are, are uh, on the menu. Uh, have you had any of the driftless picks? Nope. Okay. We'll, we'll add that in there. What, what else? Uh, how about this guy? This guy is worth the try if you haven't had it. Um, the Sagamore right. Port finished. Not the port. I've got the sherry finished. Okay. Well, we'll throw, the, we'll throw that in the mix, too. I haven't tried the port one yet. I got the regular, I think, and then uh, the sherry finish. Sherry finish is really good. This yeah, is it's... not. I mean, this is a, this is a red the American? 12. Represent. Wait, you got the Dusty? Is oh. that the Dusty pick there? Yeah. Christmas dogs. Oh, Dusty one. Oh, oh no, sure. I haven't oh, yeah. tried that one yet. Nice. Yeah, this one's Dusty pretty good. Yeah, that's the Dusty Dan. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty man. good. Hey Dan, where you at? Come on, he, man. He was he was here earlier. He's probably yeah, he was uh, on stream earlier. Yeah, probably doing bigger and better things, I assume. Dusty Dan. Um, Sean, did yeah. I send you a, a sample of the the balconies, the trace hombres? Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, junkies. There you go. Yeah. Uh, they, they just sent me yeah. their their blend. I, I didn't even order it. I, that's pretty cool. Uh, now, where that sample is in my mix of samples, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's around. I, I I drank half of it on the live stream uh, the night after. You, well, not the week that I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I look, I got my, I'm on my third bottle of that. Let's see here. Uh, no. Uh, I'm not going to find it right now. No. I, 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 had a, I had a couple of your samples on top there. I thought those might be it, but because uh, because your label stands out, it's different than most labels. So I hmm. thought that that was it, but no, they're they're somewhere buried in the <laughs> in the masses of samples. Yeah, there's there's, there's a hundred ish samples in that box, so oh, it, it, it's it's somewhere in there. Uh, <laughs> Like, but I like to, I like to just kind of go through them occasionally and like remind myself of uh, great stuff. So that, that's always fun. I'll just have like a sample night once a week. So that Balcones Pete that I sent you, uh, I kept one sample of that. Oh yeah, sent the rest of that bottle to uh, John Kranz. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's do that next. Mm, you can. I don't. I, I just kept a sample of it in case somebody else wanted to try it. <laughs> I think they. I think the peat they use is actually like uh, Isla peat or something because it's, oh. it's got that same kind of a uh, Lafroy type note to it to me, you know, that medicinal right. seaweedy, you know, saltwater. Yeah, peat. there seems to be a lot of a lot of extra Lafroy barrels going around. Oof. I don't care for it. Uh, I'm oh, not the like biggest the... fan of Lafroy. I like peat. Peat Isla Scotch. Lafroy is the, is the one of them like. Meh. Yeah, exactly. So that. we're we're all on the same page. Yeah, Lafroy. <clears throat> I'm like, oof. But um, right, well, like on that note, I'm going to polish this up and head off. I've been up since 5 30 this morning, not counting a small nap during my swing shift. So, Sean, hey, I'll see you tomorrow night right, from National Metal. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, thank yeah, you for hanging you out, Jim. Appreciate hey, no you. And, uh, and, and, and good yeah, luck yeah. on your battle with uh, Trish there on Livewire. Thank you. Again, again, my money's on you. So, oh boy. Uh, yep. No pressure. I'm, I'm betting on you too. <laughs> Okay. You got this, Jim. No, I mean, so e either way, whether, whether Jim wins or Trish wins, either way, we got great people winning. So, um, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah. Dusty pick. Yeah, I need to get that Dusty pick, man. So, I, I just got story time. I got three picks from story time coming. Um, well, you, at least you got the sample that uh, Friday at Fred's pick. Yeah. You get a that, whole bottle of it. That That is a great bottle. I Actually, I, I purchased the bottle before I even tried it, but... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, either way, I'm, I'm happy with it. So, not no yeah. disappointment here. Yeah, I got that one in in the uh, the port night too, and they're both really good. Yeah. So, um, so I, I won the standard port night on Marty's stream, and then I got the port night rises and uh, Friday at Fred's coming. So, okay. all kinds of uh, story time stuff on the way. Nice, man. Nice. <clears throat> Hmm. See, I, I hid the balcony straight on in the back of the liquor cabinet. So, so after a few pours, <laughs> I'll be too lazy to pick it out. There you go. Like there you it. go. Jigs, what's up, brother? <laughs> Shit, <Shit-a -nuga. laughs> 
I, mean, I got one Chattanooga. Come thing, on, the hundred and eleven proof on. one. Commandante Lou is killing it tonight, dude. Got <laughs> <laughs> you, you you got a bad Chattanooga uh, because well, I, got, Chattanooga. Right. I, can't talk, I can talk about the art bag, but I can't talk about the Chattanooga. I never tried that shit. Chattanooga makes some fantastic stuff. So I mean, I'll, you you like Texas whiskey also, though. So I don't know if I can take your word for it, John. Okay, so so shred. <laughs> I'm gonna send you. I mean, we need to like work out. Actually, for drop sure. your here. Drop your address in chat. Now I'm right, going to take a right. picture of it, and then I'm going to get together a care it. package for you. I, I, I like this idea. <laughs> because if, if I don't do it this way, then I won't remember. And, uh, yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Only give me a pour. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, actually, here, I'll, I'll do the same for you. Uh, because, basically, everybody else in this chat already knows my address, so it's not like uh, <laughs> Eddie Maria. <laughs> I can do this. I can type this out. I got this. I can type it out, dude. It's hard. Doing things. That's not my whole address. God ah. damn it. <clears throat> so, thing with thing. And, the, <laughs> yeah. Give me one second. Before you hit enter, uh, let me finish mine. Four, two, six. There we go. Okay. Now it's all together. <laughs> uh, yeah. Typing's hard. Yeah, it is. Um, anyway, let's get onto this uh, Balcone single malt uh, heated fish. <clears throat> Telling you folks, uh, as uh, I feel like Woods was the one that pointed out, so not all Balcones is great. I will, I will grant that, but there's some stuff that's just ridiculous good. All right, screenshotted, sir. Got you. There we go. I'm curious how this single malt mixes with peat. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, Paul and Joe, actually, uh, I've not been a, been a good host. What's everybody <laughs> sipping on again? Let, let's let's uh, circle or go around the wheel here. What, what, what do we got going on? I'll start with uh, Paul. And go clockwise. Last, last pour of the night, <coughs> I, I went with uh, Willow Purple Top. There you go, man. Yeah. Purple, That's good. Nice. Uh, nine year, 133 proof. Cool. Sounds like a good one. Yeah. And so you, you're comparing that to the old Kirk kind of, right? No. One, uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a side-to-side -side blind. Okay. And, and, and see. So I, I I think that the purple top will blow the old Kirk out of the water. Just how much I've enjoyed the Willet compared to the old Kirk. But... I've been. I did a blind with Lagavulin the other night, uh, and the nine year and the sixteen year were pretty close together. So I mean, anything anything can happen when it's blind. So for sure, man. What what do you got going on, Joe? What, what are we sipping on right now? Uh, right now, I'm, I I have a classic blend that I just did with some uh, little book from. From this year, the invitation and a little bit of fireball to give it a little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> of spice. course, Bill. we, we got to bring out the, <laughs> the, the solo for that one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, is that a little oh, fireball? Shit. Then is that what that is oh, that what that man, ends up being? Dude. What's that? Is that that does that end up being a little fireball then? Yeah, it's a, it's a little ball. There you go. <laughs> little, little ball. These, these little balls. <laughs> Fucking Dan, jump on, Dan. Yeah, Come cheers, on Dan. over, bro. Yeah. I got you, bro. Come on, hang out. Yeah. Yeah. I got uh I got pretty shitty on Dan's stream the other night. Uh yeah. still kind of feeling that honestly. But uh I I, yeah. I I every Thursday I've got band practice, so I can't partake. There's so many streams I miss out on, on Thursdays, man. It's gonna suck, but I gotta shred it up. That's what's That's right. To be fair, Chattanooga one eleven is amazing. <laughs> Uh, but their Scotch cask aged whiskey was not well good in any sense of the word. There you go. Mm -hmm. I, I read that in like a really weird uh, whatever thing. Cadence. That's it. That's <laughs> that's the word. Thank you, Mark. To be fair. Yeah, Chattanooga fair. Just, just released their new uh, finished series. <laughs> not port, but it's it's like a wine finished. Mm. 
It's supposed to be pretty not good. much in most of the wine finish stuff. <laughs> Mark, yeah, I, got, I got into port yeah. for a minute, but it's just one of those. It's I I got to be on the <laughs> kind of, mm -hmm. and I I think they're better enjoyed kind of on the rocks. Pour pour a, like a port finished on the rocks. It's it's mm -hmm. pretty good, but you got to be in that mood to drink it, in my opinion. Yep. How does a a uh, Nulu double toasted barrel sound? Um, marshmallowy. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, I, so are you? You're not talking about just their their typical double barrel, Joe? No, it says double toasted on it. Oh, okay. And I see, I see it, but I'm just like, you know, that just, that's just words, you know? Yeah. And I, I haven't, I didn't buy it, but I was just. So, so is that just a heavier char than their standard toasted? Is that what? I don't even know. I, I just, I, I mean, I didn't read the bottle. I just saw the double toasted and I was like, I was like with the wax and in the way it's brown and it's, it's nice and everything. I was like, I'm not falling for it this time. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really amazed by the standard toasted. Like it, it's fine. Like I don't dislike it, but it's not. It's it's whatever. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like I, like there was the about a year ago, everybody's crazy about Nulu, and then uh, it's I don't know. It's it's all right. Yeah, I have uh like two, four, six, maybe seven bottles of Nulu, and I think I have three open. And that's yeah. from that's from about a year and a half of having them. Yeah, you know? they're they're cool, but it's not like it's not it's it's not a bottle I ever find myself like, man, I want to pour that tonight. Uh, now, like, now the honey from from the former Justin's House of Bourbon. I don't know if they're going to open back up or anything, but from Justin's House of Bourbon. Now that one is really good. Okay, that's the only one that where I'll I'll say, damn, that's that's a good new loop. Okay. So well, again, they, they kind of overcharge on it too. So yeah, seems like everybody's overcharging nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is their honey cast, so I guess that's why. I don't know. Yeah. Well, anything to do with honey is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Not the uh, king. So, so I, 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 I'm just trying to make sure I understand jigs correctly. Are you saying second pour of 2023 is ancient age ten star? So are you saying this is second pour of the year is tonight? That's amazing to me. If so, um, <laughs> you're living a better life than I am, I guess, or or worse, depending on. You, I, don't, I don't really know how to interpret this information. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Cheers to you, Jigs. Yeah, Mister Fucking Jigs. That's right. Cheers, to Dan. Yeah, hop on, man. If you got the time. I feel like it's only fair that uh, you go crazy on my stream since I kind of did on yours. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. Too. Yeah, antibiotics and uh, whiskey don't mix real well. Yep. Oh, shit. He's on them drugs, bro. Mm. Doing them hard drugs. Talk about feeling it next to Yeah, that eight hour stream, that, that's not going to happen again for a while. Uh, <laughs> that was a really rough Saturday. Uh, Are you trying to rival Ken over here, dude? Eight hours? Yeah, I, I went eight hours and 21 minutes, and that was way <sighs> too long. Yeah, yeah, water. Water's good. Water, water helps. Hydrate water's delicious. Clean. I'm hydrating right now with water. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good old, That's good old PBR. Flavored, flavored water there. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, same thing, dude. So, yeah. Mark, um, this balcony is peated finish. Mm -hmm. How available are these? Oh, I, anytime. Really? Yeah, I see it. Uh, Total Wine has it all the time. Okay, we're we're gonna have to talk some bottles again. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. I'm just, so, gonna, I'm, just, I'm just gonna just start sending you all my money, basically. <laughs> uh, so Balcon is peated in uh, still Austin Rye, and then yeah, when the Castrake Rye comes out, that's a given. It, it, and then you know, if, if another Nancy pick shows up, that's probably yeah. I just need to start sending my paycheck directly to Mark and. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm going to still Austin tomorrow. So if you want another Nancy pick, I can get one of those tomorrow. I guess depending well, on how many damn. bottles they'll sell me. 
Uh, give me one second. Let me check the account. <laughs> <laughs> the way his checking works is his checking and savings are kind of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all know the Kevin Hart thing. Yeah, it's it's, it's very similar to that. Um, well, it's it's less than a hundred, so I think it's ninety. Yeah, but I just I just dropped a bunch of money over at uh, Storytime like mm. two hours I ago. So yeah. Yeah. you gotta feed the schlong. No dude. worries. You gotta feed yeah. it. <laughs> I'll, I'll just pick one up and I'll hold it back for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if if you don't mind, if, if there's a Nancy pick available, because so I have the uh, I think I have the November. Yeah, I have mm. November. So. Yeah, I'd love to get it if it's a different batch, which I assume it is. Might be, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if if it's still in November, then I'll, I'll pass because I'd okay. like to get a different. I'd like to get a different one. Um, but if there's a new one, then yeah, yeah. I, I think she was saying that uh, the newer stuff is going to be coming out is the the older age stuff. It's five year old. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what that's what she was saying on uh, two ten ninety. It's it's all going to be five plus from here out. So yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind holding off to that. Because I got the same bottle you do. Well, I got half a bottle. <laughs> right. I, un understandable. Um, oh, man. Yeah, that's no good. I, I went with something a little lighter, a little uh, Eagle Rare. There you go. Nice. Yes. And then um, maybe next on the list is the this huge bottle of doers <laughs> here we go oh shit <laughs> <The 20> year old <laughs> just for something a little different a little nice little light 80 proofer i think so uh oh, everybody writing so small everybody in chat i i know i'm cutting out a little early and i don't really have any good reason to other than i uh was i didn't behave last night so i think we're gonna cut it here and then we'll we'll go backstage if anyone wants to hop on backstage this is kind of like your last chance here well, I mean, not really. The, the link's there. So, uh, but anyway, we're gonna kill it here. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. You guys have been great. Thank you, everybody uh, on the panel, everybody in chat. Fantastic as always. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink a lot of water actually after we get off uh, stream here. Uh, Ew. Yeah, I know water sucks. Uh, ah, it's uh, good for you. That and but, liquid IV. Yeah. yeah, so I, I do the Kinder Light, uh, low in sugar. Oh. But uh, any anyway, um, what is it? Water sucks. Gatorade's better. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Pedialyte's better than Gatorade. <laughs> All right, folks. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Peace. Cheers, yes, there you go. Cheers. You guys are great. And uh, remember, tomorrow night we got uh, Ozzy going up against Dio. So be there for that on Mash Metal. Hope you guys uh, enjoy that. And we will see you next Friday, if not tomorrow night. So, yeah. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, y'all.